All right, hey there, everybody. This is my Nintendo Switch, obviously, and the Game Boy games finally came out. I was just thinking, I am goopy. I was just thinking the other week um, as I was playing Pokemon Arceus and stuff. I was thinking, you know what? Um, I, I'm feeling kind of nostalgic for the original Pokemon games, and. Uh, well, no, they're not included. But there's some good games, and I, I will say I have. I took a peek at the, uh, the cornucopia of games that we have here, and it could be, it could be bigger, could be bigger, but uh, not too bad. Oh, shut up, me. Sorry if there's background noise. That's. Am I a little high? Is my voice too loud? That's my, if there's background noise, that's my stupid ass, uh, uh, what's it called? Oh, that is my, oh, my head, mic wasn't fully plugged in for one thing. Is that better? Um, my humidifiers are going over time. Hang on one second here. Okay, that's not, that is not right. Uh, hang on, I don't know why that fuzz is happening. I'm gonna have to plug and replug something here. You gotta love this beginning of the stream where things just suck. Uh, I, let me hang on. I gotta monitor my audio thing. See if that fixes it. it. Should not be like this. Monitor. All right. What is that fuzz? This should not be fuzz. This should not be fuzz. What what is the fuzz? Where's the fuzz coming from? All right, how do I guess that's not so bad? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Am I peeking? Sorry, live testing. You you're all being experimented on right now. I think that I think that sucks less. How about that? That's the little. It's the gain. The gain just. Was that streaming last time? Was that doing that? <sighs> God. I hate sound stuff. Sound stuff is the absolute fucking worst. Sound stuff just breaks. You haven't touched sound settings in months, and it, it just doesn't work one day at complete random. I hate sound stuff. It's so bad. Well, for one thing, my microphone was at the wrong level. That's probably because I replugged it. All right, listen to this device. Can we... Hello. Oh, okay. Now, now we're back. Sorry. Ah. Uh... What a pain in the ass. Okay. Raise that volume. Now I'm so now I'm so much quieter. Okay, how about I put the gain back on? Put that back to about twelve. Okay. Oh sorry, are you hearing me in duplicate? God damn it. I'm so sorry to subject you to this. Thank goodness that you will have access to um the skip feature. When you're you watching the actual VOD. All right. It's worse now. Are you sure? It was just sounding fine, except for I was monitoring, which you weren't supposed to hear, but you can. But whatever. Now that is off. I, 
I don't know why it doesn't let me... If I'm recording desktop audio, it doesn't let me monitor. <sighs> Stupid. I hate... <laughs> I hate audio stuff. If I could get... If I could hire employees, it would just be to not have to deal with... Audio shit. Audio shit is just absolute fucking worst. So. Anyway, pretend the stream just started. Ignore all of that. Ignore all of that. So, in the comments on the video, I want to see what's everyone's favorite Game Boy or Game Boy Advance game. What's your favorites? So, I guess we'll start with the Game Boy games. Anyway, now, now that the stream just started for the first time, how is everyone doing tonight? I am Sir Tap Tap, and um, we're going to be playing these Game Boy games. Id Boy, how dare you. So... The selection of games uh, is perhaps not as great as most would have hoped. Um, they they do have some of the best, you know. Well, they have a couple. They have, uh, they have a f let's be real. They have a few of the best games on Game Boy. Tetris, which is like, you know, <laughs> from Russia with fun. I completely forgot about that. Oh my god. Um, obviously Kirby's Dreamland, first Kirby game. Got to have that. Gargoyles Quest, which I think is good, but is also like, huh. Yeah. Um, Game and Watch Gallery 3. I don't know why 3 instead of 1, but, you know, these were okay. Game and Watch games kind of sucked, and this made them suck somewhat less. I, Alone in the Dark, I had no idea I had a Game Boy version. It's an ancient survival horror game. The first of the, the genre. Zelda Link's Awakening DX, obviously one of the first best games on Game Boy. Um, Metroid 2 Return of Samus. Probably about the best Metroid game they could do on a Game Boy. And, uh, yeah, you should probably play AM2R or the remake, the official remake instead. Super Mario Land 2, great game. Tetris, obviously, we already covered Tetris. And Wario Land 3. Which I, I assume this is the best one. I don't I don't know otherwise why they wouldn't start with Wario Land 1. I never played any of the Wario Land games, honestly. I'm so sorry. I know, I know. I I, I tried a little bit of it, by the way. It's I, I can't really get used to the way th thing. But you know what? Let's just start alphabetically. Oh, yeah. Info granites. Oh, I, I hope you like that? You like that Game Boy sound chip? <laughs> Listen, it's not always gonna be this bad. This I I'm fascinated to find out why this was included. Is this good? Is this like was this well received? I had I had no idea this had a version on this. It looks like one of those like garbage bootlegs. Like look at that. It looks like one of those gar like bootlegs where they like make the Harry Potter movie onto the Game Boy <laughs> and be like, yeah, it's super Harry Potter 67. Woo! Now that is what I call a foxy mama. I think that's a woman on the left. Maybe. Maybe they're both. I don't know. Charles Fiske. I, I think the one on the left. <laughs> it's Jesus. He's dead. Jesus is dead. I'm not reading the bottom text. The bottom text is irrelevant. Ignore that. Just focus on the pixels. This is gonna be... I just want to remind... This, this is... Alphabetically speaking... Let me just save. Alphabetically speaking... You, you open this bad boy up. And this is the first game you see. This is gonna be a lot of people's first impression for a Game Boy game. <laughs> oh, oops. And see, that's why I saved. Wow. Have you ever heard of the Alamius Indians? No. No, I have not. <laughs> Alright, I am not reading any of this. You land the plane. So I don't know when I got so goopy. I, I was not goopy when I left work. Carm can, can be an Aline. I think that was, in fact, a wo oh! Oh! There he is! Oh! H hang on. Oh. 
Oh, that's a crow. There he is. There's that man. Oh, he be shuffling. Every day he's shuffling. Look at him. Woo! Listen. <laughs> I love <laughs> I love when the, the first few frames when you move and it's just you just slide without changing the animation. Oh what? Keep in mind, this is Game Boy Color. This is advanced Game Boy. This is... This is not... I can't believe this is one of the first Game Boy games. Like, maybe for what it is, this isn't that bad. What the hell is that? Is that just... Do I interact with this? Oh. Nice. Oh my god. What? Uh, oh, I got a gun! It's a game! Walkie talkie. Colonel, I'm seven pixels tall. An old map of Shadow Island. Oh my god. You can't call it Shadow Island! Alright, amazing. Amazing. Oh! The bullets lying on the ground. Someone must have been in a hurry to reload and drop them. Thanks, bud. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. No, 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 and let me see that beautiful face. <laughs> Look at him! Look at that man! <laughs> oh, that's a big boy. Oh. Amazing. That's scary. That's the scariest thing I've seen so far. Why was this included? <laughs> why, why this of all things? Hey, hell is that? Looks like trouble. Oh, oh, it's got gameplay! This has got spiders! I'm shooting spiders! That seems excessive, even if they are like tarantula size. Okay. Is that a random encounter? <laughs> oh. Doop. Doop. Wow. Look at this pixel diarrhea. Wow. How's the Game Boy hold up outside of first per party games? Oh, it has a ton of great games! I have no idea why this was included. This is like a bootleg, but official. Which, I guess, it's the shovelware, but it's like, it's a step below shovelware. <laughs> like, good god. Oh. Like, this is almost horror. Arriving at Alan Morshin's mansion. Doesn't seem to be any sign of life. Why is this- Oh, okay, that's a gate, not a door. I was about to ask why the door is a- Oh. Oh, oh, <laughs> this is so disorienting. The door will probably be blocked. Alright. Blizzard! There was a li- Oh, fucking goddammit, stop! No! Ugh. It's- It's like all of the problems of tank controls, but it's not even tank controls. I just want to get this item. It's a rusty iron key. Alright, I want to get inside the mansion. I promise this pain will end. Alright. This is much worse than I was expecting. Like, Alone in the Dark was supposed to be good. It's ancient, but like... It's a... I mean, I think it was like a decent game at least, right? Use the key. Use the key! The key does not fit! Okay. Well. <laughs> We've run out of time. Alright. This is probably gonna be the second worst game, so keep in mind. Again, why? I, I guess it's just alphabetical, yeah. Like, but we're kind of starting with the worst games, and then we slowly get to the best games. But... Yeah, Alone in the Dark was great for its time. This was not. Yeah, that's... That is the worst Game Boy game I have ever seen. This will probably be, like, the second worst. <laughs> Did anyone have a Game Boy... Or, uh, not a Game Boy. A Game & Watch and, like, actually enjoy it? They're literally, like... Well, not literally, but they, they're Tiger Electronics, except made by Nintendo. It's the exact same thing as a Tiger Electronics, except... ARGUABLY higher quality. This, I mean, visually doesn't look too bad, but the... Here, let me get you the classic. I am starting on hard, I shouldn't be doing that. This is what they look like. So it was an LCD screen. 
and it only had like four or five positions for the main character. This is all the positions I have. And so the everything would just flicker between the things. This is a very accurate representation of what it's like. Um they're they're bad. They're they're very, very bad, frankly. I'm sure somebody liked them, but I I mean if this is if, keep in mind this was early 80s late 70s let me let me let's why did i bother pausing that like i care um first game and watch i want to say late se oh released and marketed by, from nintendo by 1980 to 1991 god imagine getting one of these in 1991 so most people only know this because of mr game and watch which <laughs> Trust me, none of these games are as exciting as Mr. Game & Watch makes them seem. And Mr. Game & Watch is still a joke character at that. Alright, that's enough of that one. We're just gonna blast through these. Greenhouse. Oops. Oh, well, that's fine. Oh, hey, it's totally not, um, that really weird Donkey Kong 3. Ah, oh, my ears! No! What have I done?! <laughs> Why? Why did it scream? What did I do? It screamed at me. Imagine. <laughs> at least, hey guys, it's freaking the original DS. What the hell? It's got two screens. I forgot that these existed. Ah! No, don't do that. Why do you do that to me? Why do you scream? Why does it scream at me? Ugh. All right, that's. <laughs> And we've run out of time. At least, I kind of like the presentation of these. It's like a museum, there's like a gallery, and you can be like, oh, here's the note board and the music, and there's like, you know, it's... <sighs> Considering, like, the, the original games are basically garbage, they put a lot of work into making them almost seem not terrible. Um, and I did play a fair amount of the Game & Watch Gallery I had. I think I had Game & Watch Gallery 1 or 2. Um, I was basically lying to myself that I enjoyed it, but like, there's some... If you enjoy very basic arcade games, this could be fun. Why are you picking the games that intentionally torture you? <laughs> it's... It's just... These two are by far the worst. I, it, it just so happens they're the first. You've already seen all the gameplay in, in, there is in this. I think Bowser eventually does something at like score 500 or something. But let's just let's just fail. This is the most entertainment there is. Just watching Mario do this. Hide and shame. Hide and shame. Oh no! Oh right, I forgot. There is no graphic for game over. <laughs> hey Angel. Um. Okay. So that sucked. Donkey Kong Jr. This one is almost a game. It's not almost a good game, but this is almost a game. It's almost Donkey Kong Jr. The thing is, I never, <laughs> I never liked Donkey Kong either. Maybe it's the fast pace, you know, mores of modern life, but I, I first played a lot of these NES games on Animal Crossing for GameCube, and I was like, oh! I would have hated if I got this console instead of an SNES. <laughs> Obviously, there's good games on NES, but, um... Alright, you know what? Oh, you gotta unlock these ones. These are the, the premium shit. I think that's enough. I think, I think that's enough of that one. Is that, is that, is that Patrick? Maybe it's the way you're dressed. Oh, hang on. Let's, um, let's change the display mode, shall we? Because, you know, we wanted to see those ones in the high quality, but let's reproduce the classic feel. Gargoyle's Quest. I never had this Game Boy. This was the frickin' worst. I, <laughs> this was, like, the dumbest possible Game Boy. The one that was green. Dot Matrix with stereo sound. The game and Watch games. Oh, I had to play all of them. Alright, I'm not reading. Gargoyle's Quest. I think the SNES version of this was supposed to be really good. I have no idea if this is good. It probably is. I mean, it's Capcom. It's from this era. Wait, is this an RPG? An unknown army attempts 
<laughs> yes, thank you. Welcome to every 80s RPG ever. The king. The king. Here is the map. Yeah, this is the spinoff of Ghosts and Goblins, where you play as the really annoying, uh, swooping-in gargoyle enemy. Hurry before they close the dimension portal! <laughs> Thanks. I'm just in this hole. I'm just this guy in a hole, and they're like, The king is dead, you must save us! Oh, okay, it's still a platformer. Okay, this could be okay. This was the first classic Mega Man I played. Well, not this, but the, the this console. It's got the music, almost. Best music we've had so far tonight. Not a high bar to reach, but... Oh. There we go. Ow. I swear those look exactly like the skull fishes from, uh, like, Zelda 2. Is it Zelda 2? Oh. <laughs> That's how you know it's Capcom. That's how you know it's Capcom. So I think I think this is probably like actually good, but we're not gonna get very far in it. Because this is a Capcom game from the 90s slash 80s. Nothing ever got drastically easier. I guess I haven't played the last couple of Mega Man games. I played a little bit of Mega Man 9, but I never played 10 or 11. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, you know, I <laughs> I think that's going to be enough for that one, too. Koibi! Play some Koibi. All right, you know, I'm going to let you enjoy that music and get a drink real very quick. Sorry, I just had to... Oh, God, sorry for being so goopy. I, my body and mind are not physically ready to stream on Wednesday. Oh, I should have mentioned that! I'm gonna try to stream games on Wednesdays, and reaction streams, and sometimes games on Fridays. So we'll have a more regular streaming schedule here. You know what, this, this feels wrong. <laughs> I, I never... I never had a classic Game Boy. I had the Game Boy Pocket. And then a Game Boy Color. I had two Game Boy Colors, actually. Because I had to get the special Pikachu one. And the thing... <laughs> the black and white Game Boy Pocket... It, it was more gray. It was more gray and dark gray as opposed to black and white. But you had four colors. You had four layers of brown. Or brown, a gray. And yes, the little lines between the, the pixels, those were on the... That's that's what it was like. We'll switch to Game Boy Color after this. But this is just to give you an impression that yes, not all Game Boy games suck. I, I, I can just imagine people that have never actually used a Game Boy before, and they're like, Uncle Tap Tap, why, why, is, why does every Game Boy game suck? And no. <laughs> the, the last set of games was just, like, the worst possible introduction you could humanly have to the Game Boy, not counting, like, bootleg games. 
Kirby's Green Land. <laughs> I mean, it is green greens. Oh, I left a... I left a tropical adult beverage in my uh, fridge that was, like, heavily, like, scenty. And now my water tastes... Like, it tastes the smell of that tropical beverage. It's weird. I, my fridge has poor ventilation, wouldn't you know? That's a that's a bear, I think, by the way. That giant cat is officially a bear. I've, I've never believed that, but um, it's called Grizzo. So, I mean, it is a bear. I guess see the ears. I guess, but I've, I still see it as a cat. The alternate form in Kirby Superstar Ultra is obviously a bear, but it just really looks like a big, fat, round cat. I can't come up with a single non-first-party game, but I'm probably dumb. Um, Tetris is not first-party, actually, I believe. Um, most of the Capcom game- Capcom? Most of the Capcom games are at least alright. Um, the Mega Man ones are a little bit weird, um, but they're not bad. They're almost as good as the NES versions. I had Mega Man 2 for this. This is probably the best you're gonna hear out of the sound chip. I can't readily think of anything that sounds better, generally speaking. Like, I can think of individual tracks, maybe? Like, you know, Tetris' theme is pretty famous, but, um... I gotta say, Kirby is probably the best sounding Game Boy game. The, the Pokemon games are mostly really good, they have some amazing tracks, but they also have some real stinkers. I'm still trying to get used to this Wednesday stream thing. It's, I like the idea, chill streams on Wednesdays, good little mid-week break, but my body is like not physically ready. Look at the background. You you can do so much with so little. I really feel almost more like I'm playing on my calculator than on the Game Boy system. But this this was groundbreaking-ish. Though I will say, this um the original Game Boy was not like a technical marvel. The original Game Boy used a cheap, readily available dot matrix screen. And um it was not technically amazing, but it's like, holy shit, portable games that aren't completely terrible. It's got cartridges. It's got save files, rarely. Uh, it was like, moderately uncommon to have a proper save file. There's a, I had a lot of passwords scribbled on my Game Boy cards. The sound chip was awful. And the worst thing is, the Game Boy Advance's sound chip is still bad. <laughs> the Game Boy Advance did not have quite as much of an excuse. You will notice the the amount of tracks is limited in the sound chip, so sometimes, uh, especially in some of the more complex tracks and like DDD's theme, you will notice that uh, sound effects overwrite it and things get weird. Thank goodness! Like, imagine if there was still like a limit on tracks, like. So many just weird little things about old tech in games that is just like so weird to experience for the first time if you haven't seen it before. It was a washing machine. Yeah, I know. I know it was like a common thing, but yeah, it's basically a, a cheap like was like was it like an experimental thing? Because like it's a bunch of cheap, readily available stuff, but it ended up being like it's did it sell over a hundred million? I think it must have, right? I mean, it had freaking Pokemon. By the way, it's so weird! Pokémon came out earlier than you think, but, like... It, it, it came... It, uh... It debuted on the Game Boy, like, when the Game Boy was getting old. And... But they never had a Game Boy game... Or, they never had a Pokémon game on the, uh... Ow. SNES! It's right under Switch, really. I didn't realize the Switch had passed it. Good for the Switch. I gotta say, this... <laughs> 
if, if this, if you think that they started this with the best possible set of Game Boy games, oh my god, this is, I, I, I wouldn't say this is the worst collection of games, but I would say this is probably one of the, this is probably the worst they could get away with, right? Like, I don't think there's gonna be blood in the streets over this selection of games, but like, no Pokemon, um, no Mega Man. Only one Zelda, okay, okay. Release them one at a time, sure. Just the one Kirby, I guess that's fine. One Mario. Kinda weird they didn't do the first one. It is, uh, Mario 2, Mario Land 2 is the better game. But I never had Mario Land 1, so I kind of hoped it would. No, Harvest Moon? I was really hoping for Harvest Moon. I don't know if Natsume will do it, though. Don't they sell Pokemon RB on the Switch eShop? No, I don't think so. I think you're thinking of the DS. I know it's on the DS. I don't believe. I, I'm pretty sure this is the first time there's been any Game Boy stuff on the uh, Switch. I'm, I'm going to try to not just only play Kirby this entire stream. Just l let me enjoy a good game after the last few, <laughs> okay? It, it really is amazing what they managed to do with the sound chip here. And keep in mind, this is these are original tracks. This is the first Kirby game. This is where Kirby came from. The NES Kirby game actually came after this. So these are not like pre-designed songs made to work on the Game Boy. These were originally composed for it. And most... Pretty much all of these tracks, actually, are still used in Kirby today. Kirby's very big on reusing and remixing music. Only the... God, what is that called? Like, Hot Potatoes or something? Like, Hot Potatoes, but let me... I have to find... Um, Kirby ro Roasted Potatoes? Herb Roasted Potatoes, Kirby Foods. Okay, that is not... Roasted Sweet Potato Shooting! That's the name of the track when you have the spicy curry. I guess they're Roasted Sweet Potatoes? No. Right, I'm gonna beat one more boss, and then we will, uh, move it on. This. This is Roasted Sweet Potato Shooting. I'm pretty sure that is meant to, to be curry, but I don't know. Also, you'll recognize a lot of these graphics are recreated beautifully in um, Kirby Superstar. Especially the weird water effect they got going on. Let's... Like, it's so hard to make decent looking water on Game Boy. But the little star thing, it's such a neat little touch. Hello, Mr. Whale. What is up with NES era games and whales? Like, there's so many times you like go inside of a whale, or there's giant whales in the background, or those weird whales in Mario Super Mario 2. Shout out to Kabula, by the way. We didn't see her for like a decade until um, Kirby Superstar Ultra. Uh, that was Kirby Superstar Ultra is arguably the best Kirby game. It is so good. It's a shame that it's, like, slightly obscure as far as Kirby games go. Trust me, it's, it's so goddamn good. Oh, yeah, it's Mint Leaf. Yeah, in English. Yeah, Kabula hadn't been seen since this game, and I don't think she's been seen since. Um, except instead of, like, stickers and stuff. And yes, the balloon is a girl. It's official in the uh, boss description in Superstar. Also, if you played Kirby Superstar and things look familiar, um, Spring Greens, or what is, is that what it's called? Spring Greens or whatever in Kirby Superstar is a complete remake of the original game, except for that last level. Kabula is not in it, which is why it was so cool to see her in uh, Superstar Ultra. Spring Breeze, that's right. I'm mixing up with Green Greens. Oh, hey, this, this jerk here is classic jerk. Alright. That's enough enjoying 
Well, no, actually, I think the rest of the games are good. But, um... I want to show off all of them, so... Oh, yes, yeah, the, the next game is definitely good. So, yeah, all, all, the rest of the games are all good, so... Well, Metroid 2 is... It's it's kind of like 6.5 out of 10. All right, this one's the has this one forces it in color. This is the Game Boy Color version. Oh yeah, I'll be streaming. Well, I'll probably I'll probably do one stream of Metroid Prime Remastered. Looks really good. I ordered the physical version though, so that'll take a little bit. By the way, guys, what's your vote on the dot matrix? Do you guys want me to turn off the dot matrix or leave it? It's the reproduced classic feel, which I think also has a little bit of um, the image retention. For a, if you notice, the, for like a frame, the image gets retained. That's just kind of what the Game Boy did. I think I'll leave it on for one more, and then we'll go to color and no reproduce for a couple. So, if we're excluding Pokemon games. You could definitely argue that this is the best Game Boy game. And we'll, we'll just be Link. Oh, do I have to type it? Fine. It'll be... Yeah, it'll be very original. I will say, I never beat this on my actual Game Boy as a kid. I got halfway in. I never got to the Animal Village. I, I got stuck just before that. Shout out to Totally Not Mario in the bottom right there. You're on Koholint Island. Whoa, boy, where are you off to? Say to Spiel, I got something to listen to. See that blur effect? That's The Game Boy screen was just like that. Like I said, pretty low quality, um, easy to get thing. Well, actually, I don't know if the Game Boy Color screen was necessarily the same. But I know the original setup of the Game Boy was just, let's take a bunch of cheap crap, put it together, and there we go. Let me tell you, you're a little kid in like, late 80s, early 90s, and you got like, a portable thing, with batteries, and it lasts like, for a billion years? This'll get you going. There's a GBC version which had an extra dungeon. Oh, that is, th that is this version, this is the color version. I assume they did that just because, like, why would you include both versions? Because, like, just... Because this version has proper colors. Um, you can play any Game Boy game in color, but it doesn't have built-in. Uh, like, it isn't necessarily mapped properly. Like, you see Link is green, the sand is, you know, orange. It wouldn't necessarily map right, and it would have... It has a pretty limited color palette. Of course, this still does have a pretty limited color palette, but... Things are actually intentionally designed here. The cool thing, though, when playing non-color games on a Game Boy Color, is you could pick your palette. You could mess with the uh, A, B buttons on the D-pad. Actually, I think it was mostly the D-pad. And there was a bunch of different palettes you could pick. I love the one that was inverted, so, like, white was black. It just had such a cool, like, edgy look to it. It just made everything look evil. Our sword has our name on it. And it's transparent! Which is a little odd. See, you can do okay with the Game Boy um, sound chip. You can't do great, but I, th I think this is about as good as you get. Though I'm not sure, does the Game Boy Color have a better sound chip too? It might, because I know some games are only for the Game Boy Color. This guy has bananas for sale. He's also a crocodile, and he, he collects unusual canned food. Which is in no way an absurd setup for a trading quest that makes absolutely no sense. Definitely not. Also, this is the one that like... This is just set up as like a huge weird crossover. I think that was like... 
in the design, like, from the very start, like, they were just like, what if we put a bunch of weird other Nintendo characters in Zelda? So there's Gordos from Kirby's. There, there's anti-Kirby's, which are evil Kirby's that, like, obliterate you. There are Goombas. What else is there? There's a Chomp Chomp that is actually a Chomp Chomp. Um, Chain Chomp. Which is, like, not playable, but... Also, it's just a dog. Like, at no point is it acknowledged that this is a steel-eating monstrosity. This is a dog. It's one big Yoshi egg. You gotta have the owl. This was back before... Like, in this era of Zelda, every Zelda game tried to be connected to the others. So, Kepo... Kabora Gabora? <laughs> I can never pronounce this bastard's name, but I do believe this is meant to be the same owl. The infamous owl from uh, Ocarina of Time. I think there was like some slightly implied connection between this and one of the other Zelda games around the time. And then Oracle of Seasons and Oracle of Ages have uh, Twin Rova as a special hidden boss and some other weird stuff. Or modern Zelda games, they don't, well, until they made a sequel to a Zelda game. Um, which I, technically they've done before, but that's not common. It's connected to Link to the Past, that's right, that's right, Link to the Past. You're gonna be lost, thanks to me. <laughs> Hi, Parker. Hi, Parker. Hi, Parker. Barry. Let's hear our wounds and get rid of all that stress. Close your eyes and... It moved! They don't make the fairies very bug-like anymore. I actually forget exactly where to go at this point. I've only... I've played this twice, and I only beat it once. I beat the, um... The Switch version, which is quite good. The better controls make it... The, 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 honestly, the controls... The, this game... It's really about the best they could do. But the controls really, really frustrate the old tap-tap. Oh, right. Can't smash things. Yeah, the, the, especially the fact, so you got, you got two buttons. And your shield and your sword both take up one button. So to use anything else... You have to lose either your sword or your shield. To use two not sword things, you gotta give up your sword. It kind of a pain. Um, I think you get three or four. Plus, the item switching is much less of a pain in the butt in uh, the Switch version. And the Switch version, I like the graphics. A lot of people didn't like the graphics. I didn't like the performance. The game runs at about 25 frames per second. But, um, and it has this weird, like, griminess, like the, it's like this out-of-focus effect on the bottom part of the screen that just looks stupid, but it's, it's otherwise a great version, and I like the, um, the, like, action figure sort of art style it has going on for it. Oh, 50 rupees. If this one you can get up to 999 rupees. And there's almost no reason to do that, if I recall correctly, other than to buy the bow. Which does cost a ridiculous amount of money. You're spiders, aren't you? Oh, no you're not, you're just heavy. Sometimes they're, they're skull spiders. Just can't. Luigi, we gotta get the shrooms. I think we gotta go deliver that to the witch and stuff. For now, let's just keep it rolling. So, 
shoutouts to probably the worst Metroid game, frankly. That's... It's fairly high praise, but... Yeah... Oh, hey, it's... Oh, this is my save point. It's fine. Hang on. Let's reset. Start one. How do I start two? Huh? Oh, okay. There we go. UE4 is Unreal Depth. <laughs> it's not that... Wow, I would never have guessed that was Unreal 4. Huh. But yeah, the, the game really... Poorly. I, uh... You kind of get used to it, but I played um, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and then that game. So both the art style and the poor performance were kind of like burning me out at that point. Yeah, this... I don't know, would you say this is more like difficult to approach than NES Metroid? I guess this is not as frustrating as NES Metroid, but NES Metroid is crazy hard. And more, more than hard, the 30 health thing is infuriating. It is completely insane seeming to any like modern minded gamer. By modern minded, I mean like anyone born like after like 1985. Because that. <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. Classic shit. Um. I didn't realize this game still had that. That's more of a original Metroid bug. I guess it's here too. But notably, Samus is absolutely huge in this game. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about that. She would have looked like absolute shit otherwise. But um, it's very cramped for a game that's focused about exploration and movement. So, and this one is very weird. It, the, the structure is not like any other Metroid game. It kind of, you know, you get upgrades and stuff, but you're trying to hunt down all of the Metroids. There's a Metroid counter down there. You gotta hunt down the 39 Metroids, and they slowly upgrade to different Metroid versions, which is not a thing in any later Metroid game. Aside from kind of in, um... Is it Zero Mission? You see one of the forms. Yeah, this is not the best look at Metroid. There he is. Oh, hey, it's a beta? I, I don't remember the forms. Ow. I forgot, you don't even fight uh, the hatchlings. They're not hatchlings. Where are the hatchlings? The larval, larval Metroids. Oh. You have full health now, don't you, you asshole? These are a lot easier to fight in AM2R. Well, it's mostly just not using the controls. Oh, hey, I got him! What number comes after 39? Well, oh, 38! So. Unlike. Huh? So, that is one of the. Huh? Oh, I think I need bombs for that. That is one of the major mechanics of this game. You beat the Metroids, and then earthquakes happen because of reasons. And then you unlock new areas to the game, which is not very Metroid-y. But hey, keep in mind, this is Metroid 2. This is pretty early in gaming. It's kind of like a Zelda 2 situation where, like, the standards weren't fully set in stone yet. But there are still upgrades and everything. I really will say, <laughs> you really should play AM2R instead. Um, the 3DS game is also okay, but I I always recommend AM2R first. Um, I don't remember where to go exactly. This game is not really especially notable, other than the weird multiple different kinds of Metroids. Spider Ball was first here, not... Um, in Metroid Prime. Um, this is technically... Parker? What? What? Come on. 
come here. Sorry, I'm talking to my cat. What do you want? Come here. Hang on. Fine, I don't know what he's yelling about. What? He just wants attention. I was hoping to at least get a power. Oh, here, here we go. Sure. Oh wait, no, that's a save station, isn't it? <laughs> I was at least hoping <laughs> mid Metroid. Uh, probably the worst Metroid game, not counting re the remakes. The remakes are quite solid. Official or otherwise. Um, I was hoping to at least get one power up. You know, it's a Metroid game. How can we not get even one power up? I think Spider Ball is somewhere around here, isn't it? At least give me like a missile upgrade. Come on. My balls are being thoroughly busted here. And they're also in the walls. Look at that. My balls. They're right there. Impossible. My balls aren't there. Hi, Parker. 14 years later, and every time I hear balls, I still think about Piccolo's 9000! Hi, Parker. I think I put my balls in my other pants pocket. You get to live with the, uh, this was in the era, well, this is the era of annoying booping sounds when your health is low. An era that lasted about 20 years, I might note. Alright, that's... We got killed by a blankie that was floating in the air. Worse than Federation Force. I I honestly forgot that existed until you pointed out. <laughs> I I never got Federation Force and I never will, so I guess I can't fully I can't be completely unbiased in in, in answering that question. All right, now we're talking. I would say Kirby and Zelda um what is it? Link's Awakening are better than this, but um, for a lot of people, this is probably their first really good uh, Game Boy game. Mario is a little bit big. It's kind of a similar situation to, uh, to Metroid 2, but oh my god, it plays so much better. It really does feel just like a Mario game. My only complaint is, here, I'm going to press the Y button to run, or to jump, or to do whatever. No, the Y button doesn't work. So it makes you use the um, just the two buttons on the right, which is really annoying. You gotta kind of I put my thumb so that the left half of my thumb is on the B button and the right half is on the A button. It feels a little bit weird, but it's really the only way to do that. Do X and A. What does X? Oh, but why doesn't Y work? Why does X work but not Y? That's, it's kind of nice that X works, but that, that just annoys me more because Y and B would be even better. Why? Why, why doesn't Y double his... What? Ha. Huh. Thanks for pointing that out. I somehow never tried that, but that's... I, I, I can't decide if this is better or worse because, like, it, it shows that they were, like, technically able and considered the, a possibility. But they still just left Y as nothing. That's so weird. Also, oops. Uh, I was trying to see if... Is there a way to do the weird unofficial palettes that you could do with the Game Boy Color? I tried, like, messing with the, uh, the D-pad, but there's no Nintendo screen. I I'm actually kind of annoyed at that, honestly. Seeing the Nintendo logo and a um, a Mario coin sound effect is the defining experience of a Game Boy game. And this doesn't include it! Just... So, I'm gonna reset the game. Straight to the game! That's, that's not how we do things on the Game Boy. And the even better experience of hearing no sound and... Um, or a dead, like, ringing tone 
and a super glitched up Nintendo logo, which always like made you wonder if it was dead, but it was so common. Let me see if I can get a picture of this. Game Boy Switch screen. That. Boy. There has to be photo evidence of this. Game Boy Switch screen. This is a Game Boy Advance one. Or wait, no, no, that's regular Game Boy. It's just on a Game Boy Advance. There should be more evidence of this. Oh, here we go. Here's one. For <laughs> shout outs to all of the children that were probably horrified that they had broken their expensive new console when they first saw this. If your cartridge isn't just right, the, the Game Boy is a little bit more reliable than the original NES or the um, the VCR NES, anyway. The top loader NES loads perfectly almost every time, I'm told. So if you're, want, if you're in the market for an NES, get the top loader. The, the VCR kind one sucks. I have one, and it's like 40% of the time it loads properly. The Game Boy, it's more like 90% of the time it loads properly, but you would still see this a lot. Just because the cart didn't sit in just right. Am I paused? What was... How do I... Oh, there we go. Bypassing the Nintendo logo is actually copy protection circumvention. I imagine it's just an emulator thing, because there probably isn't a reason to do that, but... They could have just put in a fake one. Hi, Parker. Why are you so loud today? Oh, I... Oh. Now that I know that there's a different way to hold the controls, I'm, like, messing myself up. I really like the worlds in this, and like, the new enemies, like... It's not just a previous Mario game, but mobile, right? It's its own thing, it has a lot of designs that like, really were never used again. It, just, it feels like a very unique Mario game. Which, no offense Mario, but like, unique in Mario games. <laughs> like, there's so many Mario games, how could one feel unique? But it just, it doesn't quite feel like any other. The super zoomed in size really helps, but there's so many enemies in this game that you'd never see in any other Mario. There's like, I mean, there's still Goombas and Coopers, but I gotta say, most of the enemies in the game are not your usual Mario things, and the bosses? The bosses are weird. Like, you fight the three little pigs and a witch, it's, it's, it's a wild and wacky Mario world here. Oh yeah, Mario's, we have to view, we have to go to see Mario Zone. Also, there's zones. I love zones. Zone is such a good whoa, such a good word. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hidden block city over here. Oh yeah, and if you beat 100 enemies, you get a a star. It's a very odd and unnecessary gameplay feature, but it's there. You can also gamble. There's also a lot of secrets that, like, in most old Mario games, have no purpose other than getting coins. Until they started having, like, at least dinosaur coins or something. Secrets in Mario was kind of like, oh, I get... It's like, you get more lives, but, like, if you're good enough to get the secrets, there's, like, no use for lives. Especially, like, in Mario 3. I love Mario 3, but oh my god. T to know, like, any of the secrets, they're so insanely specific that you would have to, like, look them up. Like, to be able to get the White Mushroom House, there's no way that you need the White Mushroom House. And to get, especially the stupid, what is it, the Anchor? If you're good enough to get the Anchor, there's no way you need the Anchor. It's the most useless item in video game history. The Nintendo logo is the GB's anti-piracy. Every game just checks for it twice to load, which is why it blacks out the pins, can't read the cart. Oh! So it was like failing the ROM check is why it glitched out, I guess. Let's go to Mario Zone. Let's just slide off my foot here. Ah. There's, there's no question of why Mario Zone exists. This is just normal. Mario Zone is just here. There, there was always a giant statue of Mario here. The thing is, 
The giant statue of Mario predates Mario. Until Mario was born, no one knew what this statue was. Mario Land 2 proves that Mario is both rich and arrogant. He does have a castle! And a statue of himself, yes. A giant... A statue which you can go into... That is full of Coopers and, like, death blocks. It's so neat, yet entirely pointless, that you can stand on the, like, in-between pieces of those gears. It really makes you feel like they're 3D, even though they're definitely not. Also, I was going to turn off the dot matrix. I'll do it later. I'll do it after this game. You can do the spin thing in this, by the way. I don't know if it works. Oh, I think you gotta be big. Wait, now, how do you do the spin? I think you have to be big to do the spin. I think it's like holding down and jump. Is this the first game that shows Wario, at least? I did it before. I think I have to be big for it. Let's see! I keep thinking that these are one-ups. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's hold down. I think it's the same way that awful um, NES version of Super Mario World. Or NES bootleg, rather, of it. I, I hope they put... Mario Land 1 is, like, not great, but... It's still Mario, and, like, it's got Daisy. She doesn't look anything like she does in, in more modern stuff, but... I swear, it's my, my brain, like, I played the, I first played the Mario calculator game. That unofficial Mario game that everyone had on their uh, calculator. And so my brain always sees that Mario and just thinks of the, um, the calculator game. Oh, 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 hey! It's, it's scripted to just always be this. We don't need checkpoints. By the way, you can just hold the button. I think Kid Me took an incredibly long time to learn that. So you can have that for free. These blocks are, uh, fireball only. By the way, the, the ending, the little bell at the ending just gives you a little mini-game. You can get either one of any power-up or a three lives. So usually you want three lives. Commercials for this game? You know, I never saw the commercials for this game. Let's look them up. Mario Land. Oh, yeah, it was the... It's me, Wario. I forgot it. I forgot that that was specific to this. Let's let's treat you. You can have a little bit commercial as a treat. Now, how do I want it? Hi Parker. Hi Parker. Mew. Why is that not show? Oh. <laughs> not that one. Oh, why are you over there? <laughs> That's... not quite right. <laughs> Wait a minute, are you expecting that? Ah, that's why you're like that, okay. Hi, Parker. Alright, shut up for a second here. ゲームボーイという国に6つの金貨という<笑> Commercials did not have to reflect the actual game at all at this point. Be me, Wario. I am your master. Mario is your enemy. The wicked imposter Wario has cast an evil spell over Mario Land. Is that what this year's spells? Don't let Mario reach the palace. This is the biggest, most dangerous, most challenging Game Boy adventure yet. Obey Wario. Destroy Mario. Don't fall under Wario's evil spell in Super Mario Land 2. Only on Game Boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I love how completely misleading that is of the concept of the game. Like, there, there is no... He's not mind-controlling you. You control Mario. But whatever. It's more Mario action! <laughs> Who is this modern YouTuber? What the hell is this? Every copy of Mario Land 2 is customized. Super Mario Land 2! Six golden coins! Mario must conquer over 30 different levels, gathering the six golden <laughs> coins to gain entrance to the castle where the Wario awaits him. Where the enemies ever. are tougher, and the bosses are bigger and badder. So bounce someone on the head and grab your Game Boy, because Super Mario Land 2 is waiting for you. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Oh, oh he has the frost! Wow! Oh, the magnifique! <laughs> it's instantly a shit post just by virtue of being in French. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, this is just different language version. Oh, oh. This is obvious. This is, you know, Mario is Italian. This is the original version here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what he sounds like. <laughs> Excuse me, this is the shit post. This is canon what they sound like. Game Boy! <laughs> now it sounds more intimidating. Super Mario Land is really into it. What? What the hell is this? <laughs> it's so shitty. <laughs> Guys, in Canada, Wario is a real person. This is real. This is... <laughs> Only in Canada, Wario is a real physical person. <laughs> and he's made out of about 17 pixels. I'm very tempted to watch this, but also 122 videos. Maybe for a stream. I, I, I have to see this. I have to see Bowser giving Mario the thing, though. Where's... I think you should hug the bows right now. Hey. Aww. Aww. Super light. All right, that's that's enough commercials for one day. Why is Uncle Fester selling the game? Now we gotta go into Mario's cock for Mario Zone 2, of course. I forgot about that part. And there's balls! You go into his cock and there's balls. I mean, what else is there to say about it? Just... Oh, and there's Spiky. He's got some... There's some... There's some points here. I think that's the testicular torsion. That's what happens when you step on Mario's balls. All right, I, I can't be here. I can't be here playing Mario for 18 billion. How do I save? And I think it auto saves, doesn't it? All right, a little bit of Tetris. Are we gonna get to how many? Oh, it's only been an hour. We can do all the Game Boy games briefly. The Game Boy Advance ones. So yes, this is the first version of Tetris that has this track. There are two versions, or is it three? There's at least two versions of Tetris on NES. There's multiple Tetris-like games on SNES, and none of them are quite Tetris, if I recall correctly. There's like, not Puyo Tetris, but Tetris Attack. Um, there's Tetris 2, which is very weird. We might have to stream Tetris 2 for like a cursed content or something. Mario Tetris and Tengen Tetris. Player. 
Honestly, I gotta say, I mean, I'm nitpicking and biased, obviously. But for me, the best, and for a lot of people, from what I can tell, the best Tetris is uh, Tetris DS. It's, it's a little bit unfair. It has, like, all of the licensed Nintendo characters. But more important than that, even, it has all of these unique modes that, like, are add to it. And it has an ending! There's a mode where the game ends at 100 clears, and it's like, wow, I finally beat Tetris. Like, 15 years I've been playing this damn game, and finally I beat it. Oh, Hattress is terrible. <laughs> Hattress is the dumbest thing I've ever seen, I love it. Tetris 2 is so weird, though, it has, like, it's the only official, quote-unquote, Tetris game with the weird, shitty pieces. Usually a hallmark of a bad Tetris clone is those shitty pieces that are, like, disconnected, or, like, aren't made out of four parts. And it's called Tetris, you know? It's, it's not three Tris, it's not f five Tris. It's supposed to be four parts. That's the that's the whole deal. I'm tied on DS and Effect. I'm play Tetris Effect. That sounds like an edgy, like, art house film. Tetris Effect. Oh, yeah, this is the first person Tetris, which is, like, appalling. I can't believe I never made a video of that. Like, ten years ago, I was always thinking, like, oh, yeah, I should play the stupid first-person Tetris game. But I never did. Maybe I should still do it now. Okay, I hate this. I hate this when you have... You only have the wrong kind of S piece, and you're like, God damn it. Well, this isn't going well. I can only play so much Tetris on stream. Speaking of, we finally got a real Tetris. And these fake Tetrises. I love Tetris, but, like, unless you're, like, a really good player and you're playing Tetris the Grandmaster, it's kind of insufferable to watch, so we'll, we'll call it there. I do have Tetris the Grandmaster, by the way. I bought a copy of it. It was only, like, 20 bucks, but it only plays on um, a Japanese 360, which I have, so that was not a problem for me. All right, Wario Land. Sextris. That's a real thing as well, I believe. Oh, wait, no, oops. I have to delete my data? Oh, whatever. I only beat one level. Oh god, the, the intros for this takes forever, by the way. I, I was not enamored by this intro. Ugh, this, you, can't, you can't speed it up or skip it in any way, by the way. It's actually, um... <laughs> actually, I'm gonna load my save. It's... it's no. It, it takes a billion years. I, I, maybe this game just makes a bad first impression, but for all the love this series gets, I, I was not feeling it, I have to <laughs> begrudgingly admit. It, it's charming as hell, but, like, I got stuck for, like, three minutes, like, just get getting set on fire and, like, not being able to clear a single block. Oh, my God. Mario is be Wario is being bored! Avert your eyes, children. Also, I, he just... It feels a little bit clunkier than I would have expected. Uh, God damn it! The the dash having a fixed length bothers the hell out of me. I, I really do not like that. I I, it's, I think it's just a case of getting the feel of the game, but shake it. Oh yeah. Also, you can't like butt bounce. I assume that's like some kind of power I'm supposed to get. Also, can't apparently go into this pipe. I also, I'm not really sure how I feel about... You don't take damage, but the enemies just, like, waste your time. And, like, that kind of makes me wish they just hurt me instead. I assume I have to get this, like, dubious potion. Yep. So the main gimmick of the Wario Land series is that, like, when enemies attack you, you're not damaged. You just get in this, like, weird state that is somewhat, like, beneficial, but also somewhat harmful. Oh yeah, Pizza Tower is supposed to be inspired by this. Perfectly honest, I, I didn't get Pizza Tower, because, like, I never really played these, and I never, like, I don't have nostalgia for them, so I was like, I was unsure if I would enjoy that. I assume Pizza Tower is, like, more... Oh, god damn it. Um, streamlined? What is thick ass, though? Oh, you don't need to do the dash. Okay. Yeah, throw me the poison.
There's the, the needing to be in like certain time limited power ups. Like I, I'm never, I've never been a huge fan of that kind of gameplay. Like when it's like Kirby and it's like, okay, just bring. Do I not have the key for this, or is that because I'm invisible? It's also not really a platformer. It's a puzzle game, mostly. Better or worse. Can I just not be invisible or something, please? I have a coin, at least. Come on. I can't tell if the key doesn't work for that, or if I'm just, like, doing the wrong thing. I'm, I'm going to have to assume I'm doing the wrong thing. I can't see right now. Come on. What? Oh. I'm sure this is way more fun when you know what you're doing, but <laughs> it is, I gotta admit, it is not a particularly enamoring first impression. Other than his thick, juicy ass. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can open that chest now that I'm not invisible, and I'm going to be pissed if that's what it was. This has frustrated me to the point of using save states. So shake it and four hold up way better. It was it was because I was in. <laughs> I'm sorry. I I despise mechanics like that. I, I know, I know. There's like cool stuff going on, but like, oh my god, I hate when, when the game is like, no, you sit there and think about what you did for like a full minute while this status effect wa wears off. Fucko, like I hate that. I I can't stand that you sit there and think about what you did. Like it's it's very charming to watch, but playing it makes me like want to die. <laughs> so, those are the Game Boy games. Like I said, this this is a rough collection. It's it, it's got Kirby, it's got Tetris, it's got Mario, it's got Zelda. It's not bad, but it's not like it's significantly below average. Aside from not having any first party content at all, I'm not really sure how they could have like made this worse. Like I guess they could have had like Mario Land 1 not DX Zelda and like I don't know, Wrecking Crew. Oh no, that was NES. But yeah, it's <laughs> uh, it could have been a lot better. I get it. They want to make Pokemon a big thing or something, but come on. All right, even less selection on Game Boy Advance. Let's go turn on reproduce classic feed. So now this is a much better selection. We're just right out the gate. Kuru Kururin is probably the one that makes everyone go what? Uh, this is a good game. It's weird. It is an interesting choice, but I'm glad they have weird games. I, I I think things like this, like, my biggest problem with, like, the way this works is that they're never going to put all of the games on here. Because I just want all of the games, even the bad games. I want to play them briefly. So this is ridiculous. You, you're a bird in the world's worst airplane. And your airplane goes on land... Like I'll 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 let the animation play. So yeah yeah. You're you're in this. This is what you are. You're in. I have no idea why you're doing this. Like you're rescuing your family, but I have no idea why you get in the helicopter. But it's. I think Fly Wrench is like a modern version of this. Oh, and you can go faster. I should be going faster. Well, actually, I probably shouldn't. But you can go faster if you want to get the the good times. The emulation includes rumble support for a couple of games, Super Star Saga and Mario Advance. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, there was a rumble pack. Um, or the, the rumble was included in the actual cartridge, I think, wasn't it? Or was it? We play with Game Or was it a Game Cube? No, I'm thinking of there is a Game Boy Advance rumble pack for like a few games on DS. I don't think. I think that was, yeah, I think that was a Game Boy player for GameCube, which 
which I never had one of those. Which, if you've seen this game, if you've seen any Game Boy Advance speedrun, you're probably seeing it through the Game Boy Player. Yeah, the Rumble Pack was the DS one, yeah. Yeah, I had that. I think only the Metroid games had that. Metroid Prime Pinball is the first pinball game. Well, no, I played the... the Windows one. But other than that... Oh, no, no, actually, no, that's a lie. I, I played uh, the Pokemon Pinball game, too. And the Sapphire one. Or, no, I didn't have that one. I just had the Game Boy Color one. But that was the first um, pinball game I beat. Which is slightly weird to say, because generally you don't beat pinball. So you're supposed to be taking it slow, which I'm not doing a good job at. So you kind of want to be at a, at a certain angle. What is with these, like, weird medians, by the way? I feel like those should be blocking me, but they're not. Are those for, like, a hard mode? I don't know what that power-up was. I went wiggly for, like, one second. God, this is such a better first impression. Like, I was, like, making fun of this as being the weird one, but, like, this is immediately engaging. You know... It seems like it should be hard to play. It's, I mean, it's not... This gets really hard. Uh, at least to do, like, fast. Amazing speedrun game, by the way. Highly recommend looking up GDQ speedruns of this. Uh, but it's... Just immediately, you just kind of immediately have a sense, kind of, of how to move. It does help that I've seen it before. But yeah, ultimately, you're trying to rescue your, these bird friends of yours. I think they're your cousins or something. Some sort of family member. Yeah, the, the, the Game Boy set, the set of Game Boy Advance games, it's small, but it's so much better than the Game Boy ones. There's one of them. I'm just gonna do one more of this. It's, uh, it's one of those things where, like, I'll be playing this all day. The springs let you change direction. Which, basically, always, if it lets you change direction, you are intended to do so. Metroid, yeah, Metroid Prime Pinball is actually really good. Even if you don't like pinball games, uh, it's worth a play. If only, it's one of those things where, like... Okay, I did it bad. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't switch. Um... Metro Prime Pinball game is what it's one of those like games where like even if you're not a fan of the genre, it's the one to play. It's the one game of that genre you should check out. Kind of like Tetris DS. If you don't like Tetris, Tetris DS would be the one game to play. It's like you can beat you can actually beat the game. There's different modes. It's not especially hard. Like 20 games were leaked for the seven months ago for GBA and they didn't include most of them. Huh. I figured they're gonna do the slow drip feed, obviously. You know, I should probably not be using the speed up feature. Let's take it slow. Is that a clown ocean sunfish? Like, it looks. It's probably like a clownfish, but it looks like an ocean sunfish. Why did I get. Why did I turn red? I don't understand these power ups. What's the deal with Kuru Kuru and power ups? I get a spray paint can and I'm red for a second? What's the point of that? What's the deal with packing peanuts? They're not packing, they're not peanuts! Oh, there's a whale! Again, whales! Video games love whales. I guess humans love whales, so that makes sense, but still. The most essential part of this game is mastering, like, the angle of attack that you need to be for some of these motions. And it's, the levels are usually set up that you can go in a, like, seamless motion directly through them if you're brave and good enough. Alright, li like I said, it's gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna get stuck playing this all night, so... Let's continue. Oh. <laughs> like, two of these are super long games. Let's, let's leave those for last. Super Circuit. I gotta say, I... I I'm nitpicking and biased because I had Super Mario 64 and I only played um, SNES Mario Kart, like borrowed from a friend, but Mario Kart 64 does it for me a lot more than the original. You know what, let's be babies. Oh wait, no. yeah, yes. <laughs> this water taste is terrible. Why, why does smell get into water and ruin it? I, I, like I said earlier, I left a drink in my 
mini fridge up here and it just like ruined the water that was in the fridge. Yeah, Super Circuit's a very good example of how bad <laughs> this um, <sighs> sound chip is. I had almost forgotten, yeah. The Game Boy Advance has an appallingly bad sound chip, and you know what? The There's actually a patch for some games that fixes the music. I don't know if that's like just because they did something bad or if the ROM maker or the you know the ROM hackers are incredible. I I am not. What what is the Oh, oh it's L. Okay, sorry. I'm using all of the wrong buttons. Oh, oh you oh you wiggles. Oh it's Lucy Lucy. Uh, I lost my train of thought. Uh, yeah the like Super Mario or Super Mario. Final Fantasy V Excuse me, it has like terrible music. Well, not terrible, but it has some weirdness to the music. And uh, there's some really nice patches for it. One of the instruments doesn't run properly on hardware. Oh! That would explain it! So ROM hackers just replace it entirely. That makes perfect sense. That's, that's wild, but yeah. Uh, Game Boy Advance. Relative to its time, it's like worse than the original Game Boy was for its time. Obviously, it has more bits and everything, but like, and there's there are some games with good music. Um, again, Capcom, Capcom games, Capcom. Uh, the Mario or Mario? <laughs> I keep saying Mario. The Mega Man games on Game Boy Advance have acceptable music. They're not as good as the. Ga um, DS Mario, or Mario. Listen, all games are Mario, okay? They're not as good as the Mega Man games on DS. Fan the Mega Man ZX series is fantastic. Please get the Mega Man ZX collection. That's that's my favorite six games out of the... That's, that, that is my six favorite games of the Mega Man series, almost. I mean, Zero, One, and to a lesser extent, Two, are a little bit rough. But otherwise, that's some of the best Mega Manning that there is. Only like, uh, for, at least from in my opinion, only like Mega Man X One and X Four, like come all that close. <laughs> the the sound just the the music just makes me angry. <laughs> like it's this like pleasant beach theme, but it's like. It's just... It's just... Not good. It's, it's just not good. The Pokemon games at least had decent music on Game Boy. The... The, the Final Fantasy games are not that bad. The, the problem with them is that, like, they're ports of the SNES games. And the SNES versions are unmistakably better. Oh my god, I just remembered. Oh no. <laughs> so, the game, the game Boy Advance also had remakes of a bunch of NES and SNES games. And one of the features that they added was the sound clips. Because this was when Voices in Video Games was new. Because on N64 and on Game Boy, the carts were finally big enough you could have voices. And voices make everything better. Oh. You're, you're going to see it. You, you, you get spared the worst of it. But you will see what they did to Mario 3. Probably the worst version of Mario 3 there is, unfortunately. Yeah, the, the, the GBA version of Mario 2 is infuriating. <laughs> they never shut up. This is as far as you go! It's... oh my god. It's really fucking annoying. Um... They're, they're decent ports, other than that, but oh my god. The colors are also a little weird. They're probably the worst way to play any game that is ported to it, but they were portable, you know? It's like, wow. It was hard to beat that at the time. I love, fi I love how easy 50cc is. I'm playing so terribly, and I'm, I'm still winning somehow. Like... Like, I'm not even paying attention, but I'm still winning somehow. <laughs> Made of code! New slurs just for 
Birdo. Birdo is maddening in that game. Birdo and Toad, which is so annoying. Oh no. I, what have I done? Yeah, they, they have no mercy on you with the uh, lack of two in this one. Oh. See, this this is nothing. This is the, the voices in this are nothing compared to the SNES and NES ports. How's the fuck to the OGs? Oh yeah. The colors colors on Game Boy are advanced are, are a weird terrible story. The original Game Boy Advance had a no backlight, and the GBA SP had a bad, very blue backlight. That was like very new tech at the time. Um, so a lot of games would have super blown out colors to compensate, uh, which made them look fine-ish on hardware, and it kind of looks like shit emulated, because you're finally seeing this, like this is one of the ones, this isn't super bad, but this is a bit too blown out. Uh, I think Capcom tended to do that a lot with games, but yeah, it, a lot of... A lot of SNES games, or not SNES, a lot of Game Boy Advance games were like that. Later ones tended to do it a bit less because the actual backlight was out. But you play these on backlit and stuff and it looks a little weird. Also the pixel spacing is like driving me kind of feral, so I think I'm going to turn off the classic feel even faster this time. I really super appreciate that they have this on it, but... I like a nice TV mode once in a while for like SNES stuff, uh, but for portable games, it just kind of like it, it just it just looks bad. I have no nostalgia for how bad Game Boy games looked. I I'm just like I liked the games, but like the actual experience of using a Game Boy was like it's it's like this is the best that we could do. That's that's what it was. It was the good enough console. It's like you know what. You can't bring your goddamn SNES and, like, you know, play in the car, so... This is what we're gonna do. Though I actually did get to play my SNES in the car once. Or no, it was my N64, actually. Uh, but there was, like, a super long road trip, so we took, like, a super... The world's tiniest TV on, like, a battery backup thing. Or, like, it must have been plugged into the battery, I guess, the car battery. And, uh, and my N64, like... What was it my SNES? It was an old... It was a cartridge console. That was like the most that I enjoy. I remember and enjoyed that much more than whatever the actual trip was. I think we went to this Wisconsin Dells or something. I still don't know what a Dell is. Honestly, I remember th the attributes of a road trip more than I remember what we were actually supposed to be doing. Like the hotels. I always remember the hotels. I remember the traveling. I remember the arguing. I remember the like stupid food but like you know the actual places we went and stuff it's like it's just a blur it's like yeah we went to a the museum of museums we went to the national park of parks look at that peach juicy <laughs> those two pixels right there Those Coopers are freaking me out. Those Coopers on the right? Oh my god, the Shy Guys. That'll give me nightmares every night. That's terrifying. Anyway. <laughs> he got a D! Hey, D, that Ds get degrees. No, actually, they don't. The rage results. Oh, the race! <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> the rage results, excuse me? I mean, I there was a bit of rage, but I didn't know that you knew that. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn that off now. Right. Get your ear holes ready, kids. Oh boy, I forgot there was a little um. I didn't have this one. I had the Mario World one and Mario Two. This little cutscene. Why does smell ruin water? It's not even a bad smell. It smells like this tropical, um... Patio Punch is what it was called. It's got, like, mango and berries and peach in it. But it just, it... 
There's this lingering odor in my water. And it was in a sealed bottle. How did it even get in there? Now is this snake? This is cute. That they, they added a little cutscene to it. Terrible news! Those evil Copelings are spreading chaos! Oh. I thought she was holding a cup of coffee! <laughs> I thought I thought she was like holding a cup of coffee. It's like, yeah, yeah, they uh, they uh, they kidnapped all the kings, turned them into snakes, and, just, uh, and uh, she's probably gonna do something about that. <laughs> but it's a note. <laughs> Peach with one pixel high eyes cracks the hell out of me. The dell is a small valley, usually among trees. Huh? What the hell? Wait. <laughs> What is this not quite Yoshi's Island music? All right. Get ready. Oh. This is this is probably yeah, this is the least bad. Choose a Mario. Easily the least bad of the remakes in terms of voices. It's a go. So in Mario 2, like you're, uh, you're just making sounds absolutely constantly, just a constant emission of sounds at all times. <laughs> and this one is not. <laughs> it's it's not the easiest to listen to either. I mostly like what they did with the gra- I think this is the same. I think the graphics are the same as the SNES version. So this three versions of Super Mario 3. Just out of three consoles. Oh, you can make the star UI appear for some reason. Some of the levels, like, I appreciate the increase in colors and everything. But some of the levels just look wrong. Like, this one looks fine. <laughs> that one voice clip is probably the same as Four Worlds. <laughs> yep, it sure is. God, what was the original size of the cart? Probably less than 152 kilobytes. I'm <laughs> driving and I'm speeding and I'm furiously masturbating! Then <laughs> she kept. We gotta love that snare. I forgot what they did with the music, too. Did you guys like that slap bass? Hey, hang on, oh, it's a Goomba pipe, hang on. Oh, here, here we go. <laughs> anytime I... I <laughs> anytime I hear unexpected slap bass and see Mario, I can't help but think of that. Also, you know what, since we're doing funny music bits... Uh... Oh. Here we go. They had to re upload it. Someone read it. Here it come. The original video got taken down. What the fuck? Oh, hey, there's my own stream in the recommended. This is how Mario would have wanted it. <laughs> I come. Oh, 
Then I'm done. I can't focus. <laughs> then I'm gone. I truly believe that's the music. When they made Mario 3, they didn't quite have the technology to make it happen. But I think that's what Mr. John Nintendo really intended the music to say. That's that's what was really going on. Oh, <laughs> Why can't they put Mario? Game over. What was the last Mario game with lives? Is it... Does I... I think Odyssey just takes your coins or does it have lives? No, Odyssey... I think Odyssey was the first one to not have lives. It's been pretty pointless from a... Oh, 3D World. Was it? No, 3D World had lives. Or no, no, yeah, it's the. it was the last one with lives, yeah. Lives were pretty pointless in 3D World. Just I, just I don't think I ever got a game over in 3D World, but I did. I did make the um, "you're an idiot loser" thing appear once. Um, it was at like a very late stage, like lava level. I was trying to get all of the MacGuffins, and I, I kept failing at a particular MacGuffin. And, uh, it was like, here, have the golden leaf thing, and I was like, no! Because, like, it permanently mars your save file, I think, if you use the MacGuffin. I think maybe if you finish the level without it, it doesn't. I come, Odyssey. Wait! Wait. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Hang on. Hang on. <coughs> Oopsie! <laughs> you didn't see that. What's the deal with mushrooms? One minute I'm eating them, another minute I'm talking to them. It's crazy. My Seinfeld sounds more like Yogi Bear, I'm aware. I am aware! See, I can do a better George. It was shrinkage! Do you think Mario gets shrinkage? Let's not talk about that. Let's never talk about that. You want to go straight to World 8? I'm not going to beat the game, but let's let's get to World 8. You know what? <laughs> Fucking slap face. <laughs> you know what? Just as, as, as... Just as a screw you to this awful game that I never could succeed at. Let's cheat. So I knew it wouldn't happen natively. Naturally, rather. Wow. You know what? Uh, two tries with cheating is probably the best I've ever done at that. I always make some kind of horrible mutation with four eyes. The thing I don't like about the whistles in Mario 2, or 3, whichever Mario, um, if you know where they are, you just immediately skip 90% of the game. But if you actually need the whistles, like if you're terrible like I was when I was a kid, or right now, um... Like, by the time, like, you, these, how are you going to know to find these? Like, come on. Like, even if you knew about the white block thing, like, just the fact that you can go under the white block, like, why would you think to do that? And this one, like, I, I guess if, I guess if it was your first time with the tail, and you wanted to explore, but it's not the first time you get a tail, and it's just weird. Why does this game have an ice flower graphic? Does it? Mexico. I think it's supposed to be a fire flower, but it's yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, this is one of the one. This, the, the entire vibe of this level is is different. It's supposed to be like a blue, pretty cave in the original. It just I, I do not like the vibe. I, I, I this this does not pass the vibe check. I'm sorry. I, I I don't like the aesthetic of this level, the way it's been altered. Can't you go to like Coin Heaven or something? I 
can't deal with this slap face. It's funky fresh. Oh yeah, that, that is the goddamn coin heaven. How do we get there? Is there invisible blocks or something? Is there nothing worse than a secret that you remember that it exists, but you don't remember how to get it? Like, not knowing a secret, that's fine. Like, you just you just don't know. You don't even think about it. But, invisible block on the pit to the left. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, isn't it? It's obvious in the... In the in the NES version, it's obvious because it's colored different, just because that's how the palettes work. But in this... I have no idea where it is. Oh well, it's not important. It's just a coin heaven. Oh well. Oh wait, wait, is it? <laughs> Jerry B filled in the What's the deal with it being hip to fuck bees? I've fucked plenty of bees, and let me tell you, it stings! The different instrumentation is so weird. Like, after you- I'm just so used to the original. Also, why am I still, like, playing like, like a non-cheater? Let's just... Actually, no, we're already here. Let's get to an airship. Let's let's do the airship, at least. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I was about to violently come. I'm sorry. I, let's... Alright. <laughs> Driving and I'm screaming. I'm furiously masturbating. I'm so sorry to all the people that will now always associate this... Tr this track... With that. Oh, it's just so delightful. It's, oh, god damn it. This is not... <laughs> Not a safe level to do that. Oh, hey! Hammer, bro. That's another thing we gotta do before we finish this. I don't like this version. Did you like that flute on your right? Oh. Alright. <laughs> you, you didn't see that. You didn't see either of those. You didn't... You didn't see that either. Alright, let's... You did see that, though. That's, that's... I swear, when you, when you use save states, you play so much worse. You just instantly... Like, you load one save state, and your brain is just like, Alright, I don't have to care about this. And you just perform terribly. Like, there's some games, I honestly think, like, cheating, like, will slow you down. This is the best Mario. It really is. Alright. Yeah. I used to think he was saying Mexico. It kind of sounds like it, doesn't it? Oh, it's terrible, the king has been transformed, yeah, yeah, yeah. That fog effect. It's... I keep trying to duck, and I can't. Can't you duck? When small? In Mario 3? Maybe you can't. There would not be a point to it. Freaking Zelda ass sounding music. Like, doesn't this kind of sound like the Dark World in Link to the Past? I guess it's just the same instruments. Look at that mushroom, that mushroom's a liar. Oh, <laughs> you see the. Isn't the 
flute music to the OOT title music. Is it? I completely forgot they fly around. There's ROM hacks where if the, if the airplane flies away, or the, the airship flies away, you're just doomed. You can't get it. Let's try to get an actual... I meant to do that. Let's get a mushroom this time. I love, I love the one frame of the jumping animation if an enemy just spawns below you. Oh, weird little perks like that. Alright. I love the programming to make it always go the way you don't want it to go. How does it know? Let's see, it's right at the, the ticker tape parade here. That's not what I meant to say, but it makes close enough. The little rope belt. Oh, screw you. I'm just gonna show you like a world of world eight, and then we gotta get moving. The fuck is this music? The fuck is this? And this isn't even. This is instrumental. This is this is samples. This doesn't fully get to you know cop out on being oh the the Game Boy Advance's sound chip sucks. <laughs> Just oh, thanks for the flashing lights. We weren't quite past that at this era of gaming. Thank you, Sultan Mario. Here's a letter from the princess. Why is he me? Conspiracy theory, everyone is Mario. That's why there's so many Marios. If Mario dies, just someone else just goes. It's not the same Mario. Open your eyes, people! Anyway. I forgot this. Well, no, I didn't forget this screen. I'd never seen that screen before. I didn't have this one. Yeah, this does not sound as good. Anyway. World 9. 8. Or actually, yes, World 9. Fun fact, if you, um, if you hack in a, um, a Koopa Kid into World 8 and you beat them, and you get the wand, you get transported into World 9, which is this! I'm not sure what happens if you transport in World 9. Um, how do? Oh wow, you go straight to the second set if you're all just on World 2. Isn't yeah, that's the, isn't that the Ocarina of Time um, Ocarina noise? The flute in this. I like how we just get a letter out of nowhere. Like no one handed me a letter. I went into a pipe. See, this this seems less intimidating than the NES version. I'm just being I'm just being nitpicking and biased because I I'm more familiar with the NES version. Weird instrument choices in this. It's like 20% Seinfeld, like 30% like Ocarina of Time. That's a lovely background. Did you, do you guys like the infuriating flashing of the background when the the boys go boom? But I do kind of understand that like, oh, this is you know primitive hardware. That's a very simple effect to do. So like, especially on NES, like. <laughs> That was about what you got as far as special effects go, but ugh, it's not pleasant to look at. It sounds so Zelda y. Driving me wild. Alright, we're not gonna badly play Mario 3 all night, by the way. I'm gonna beat this one level. Just so I can say we got to World 8. Cheating our asses off, but still. They didn't want you to cheat, they shouldn't have put it in the whistles. Speed 
run. <laughs> I'd still take like an hour, so. I'm not particularly good at this. I I've only beat Mario 3 once. That was Bowser. We did it. We won. We beat Mario 3. Bowser is defeated. And we got a star for a triple. The poor Skull Lake is like just a little bit screwed up and doesn't make it quite as scary. Anyway. This is dangerous because we have three good games. And it's like, I'll get stuck. Let's... You know what, Minch Cap, uh, it'll be easy to like stop. Well, actually, can you skip text to this? I bet you can't. Minish Cap is not a bad Zelda game. It's... I wouldn't quite say it's one of the best ones. It's very... It's got a slow start to it. Link also looks kind of weird. A long time ago. Yeah, you can't skip text. Well, it was a Shit. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure if I want to sit through an entire Zelda intro. I need to go up here the sky. I, did, I was reading that. That is a short Master Sword. It's, it's got the shrinkage. This game is one of the best games for reproduced classic feel. See, the only problem is I only played Minish Cap on the Wii U, so I don't have nostalgia for how this game looked on the Game Boy. It's that long. Like, you know, keep it. Yeah, there we go. Right, let's, let's turn that on then. Head on one after all. Classic. Probably gonna regret that, but. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, fine. This is what it was like back in the day. Actually, this is still significantly too big. It should be like. It should zoom in. Everyone. Turn off theater mode and scroll out a little bit. Then you're getting the real feel. I'm not entirely sure why this is an option. It'd be one thing if it was like a one-to-one -one screen mode, but... I guess just to feel the smallness. Master Smith. Ah. Ah. Recycled Ocarina of Time music. Also recycled uh, Link to the Past sound effects. It's still 2.5 res in this mode. <laughs> it is. <laughs> wow. Then why why does this mode exist? <laughs> like I was suspicious because it doesn't call it one to one pixel mode, which would be a valid inclusion. Even if, I, kind of at resolutions where I'm not sure that matters too much. I'm sniffing this water and getting pissed off. Someone bring me fresh water. Oh, I just want to get the stupid hat, okay? Gotta have a sword. Zelda games are not really conducive to the, like, Rapid fire, let's just peek at a bunch of games kind of thing. That's great. Welcome to my <laughs> Link to the Past randomizer stream. We just got our first 20 rupees. <laughs> Very big on the, um... The, the, the vocals. a little bit crispier than it is on uh, in Ocarina of Time 2. This does look pretty good with the reproduced classic feel, though. Ha! Oh! Thank you! Hey, baby, you wanna match Kingstones? Oh! Hi! Hi, Beetle. Got a piece of paper. I'm having a huge sale. Uh, where did Zelda go? Oh, there she is. Let me get to gameplay now, please. This 
scroll straight is 5x. Still a perfect integer scale, so this option is fully worthless. Really? Huh. Weird. I guess it's... So it feels small, but like... Just play on, like, handheld mode and, like, hold it at arm's length if you really want to, I guess. Zelda, please. Sword fighting tournament? Link, do you want me to show you my massive sword? You'll have to coax it out of my sheath first. Yeah. Hey, that's... Aw. This is bullshit. This is favoritism. This is royal favoritism. This is... This is nitpicking and bias. Teeny tiny shield. Shield is so adorable. Thanks. Now I get a terrible shield. I completely forgot about this little intro. It is a little embarrassing. I'm a big man, I have big shields. It's been in the pool. Did you know gaming, Mario is Link. That's true. Which makes that one thing in, um... Uh, Donkey Kong 2 very confusing. I just realized I'm... Oh wait, he doesn't make that particular noise. I'm almost a, a Link noise. It's a Deku Scrub. Wow. Ouch. Business Scrub. Perfectly scrubby in regards to business. Please forgive me, 23 is number one. <laughs> that nut hurt. Don't you hate it when random strangers nut on you in public? Like, come on, guys. Literally. Imagine walking around with Link when he's just doing this and being an absolute butthead. Yeah. I, I am so upset that this man looks like he's from like Mario and Luigi or like Luigi's Mansion, but he sounds like the, the postmaster. I replayed uh, Majora's Mask recently, and the, the letter from the postman to himself was like the most heartbreaking thing in a game absolutely full of heartbreaking things. Hey, it's a totally not cursed sword. It's cool. Well, the Pickery Blade. <laughs> just, let's just keep this sword full of evil in our castle. I... When did the King of Hyrule get so wide? I guess he was always wide. He was wide in the CDI games. Which obviously is where the modern king is based off of. Bati. Oh, hey, he's purple. And he looks, he's wearing our outfit, but opposite colors. I'm sure he's not evil, though. <laughs> that would be, oh, and he laughs like that. I'm sure he's not evil. And he's got red eyes. It's very, obviously a cool guy. He's going to touch this evil blade. Uh, hi, Parker. Thanks for putting your claws in me. <laughs> Gotta look at you. This was the era of reused assets. It's hard to blame him, but... Yes, that's the mask salesman. I was about to comment on that. There's the masks! Man, that sword is missing all of the parts that make it a sword. It's the aura. It's a stone with you. The mix of Ocarina of Time and uh, Link to the Past sounds is bothering me. <laughs> Worse. I'm sure there's like an 18 hour game theory episode on why that, that reused sound sample means conclusively that the mask salesman is actually the bad guy and, and Link is actually Sans and... Hi Parker. See, that's just dead ass, um, like a curlier version of Professor Egad. Not the king, the guy on the left, of course. He's very tiny. It's 
why I think every remaster should have like a button that's like, hey, I've already played the game before, skip the tutorials. Oh, sorry, Parker. Skip the tutorials, unlock the difficulty modes, and let me just get right into the game, please. And honestly, games should probably just have that to, from the get go. Oh. Hi, Parker. I, what do you want? You're being very needy. Hi, Parker. Ugh, let's just get to the hat. I hate his, like, a whole game. Like, it's more than a whole game. It's like an entire sprout at the back there. Hi, Parker. It's like an entire bird leg. Why isn't the L button used? Yeah. It's such a weird, like, amalgamation of Link to the Past. Plus Ocarina of Time, plus original stuff, sort of. Games should generally stop having the slowest damn intros. Yeah. That's somewhat improved. Depending on genre. <laughs> Welcome to the ugliest man in the world contest. You have won. Creepy! Yeah, that's... Way to put it. That is not the sound I was expecting for you to make. Do you hear that crispiness in the audio? Alright, I think this is right where we get the thing. I'm gonna talk to the hat, maybe get tiny. And then we're gonna bail. This yeah. I thought we got the hat on that previous screen. Why does it keep doing a vine boom? I don't actually know what a vine boom sound is. Help me! Oh, here we go. <laughs> I'm gonna have to check my audio settings again. Oh, shout out to Harvest Moon. Um, I'm gonna check my audio settings after this damn stream. I don't know what happened other than my mic must have gotten unplugged or something, and so it was being shitty. Hey! Hey, kid, you there. Ow. Hey, don't just stand there, do something. Ow. Do you like watching this abuse? Kind of. It's kind of making me hard, but, you know. The boom is in the high roll track. Oh. Blah, blah, blah. Just get on my head and shut up. You gotta have a th character that talks to you way too much. That is... That is the rule of most Aqua, or most Zelda games, except for a lot of the best ones, frankly. Breath of the Wild doesn't have it. Link to the Past doesn't have it. What? <laughs> there, now you can't possibly... He just like sexually attached to my head. Hmm. Select. Hopeless child. Browns. I like how in Zelda, like being hit by like a, a, a tarantula hurts you for like one heart. Like drowning or falling off an infinite cliff to death is like a quarter of a heart. Just let me be tiny. Oh yeah, it's the stump. You gotta be on the stump. Zoop! Shrink. I like the, like, Satan magic that Link is conquering when he's about to get small. In fact, let's let's see that for a second first. <laughs> he looks so evil, I love it. He's, like, charging up some DBZ powers, about to do a spirit bomb or something. Some Super Bowl Satan magic. I, I can't believe we're doing Satanic Panic 2. 
The first one was already cringe garbage. Now it's just worse. Welcome to the world through the eyes of the Minish. All right, we've successfully become small. I'm going to enter one thing while small. That'll be it. Great game, not great streaming material, and especially not for this kind of thing. What? 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 I must have been, like, just on the last pixel. I will say, this is a great visual here. They got knives! Or are those tails? Pico, pico oh, they're knives! They're gonna kill me! There's, there's even more tutorial after that. Uh, speaking of tutorial... So, WarioWare. I guess we'll finish with Superstar Saga. Which, I gotta admit, I, I'm not super far in it. I'm just past, like, the first real boss. I'm a little bit past the first real boss. And, um... Game sales are way up. And, like, so most of what I've been playing has been tutorial, but... I, compared to, to Paper Mario, I gotta say, Paper Mario was a lot better at this point. He looks so weird. Oh, right! Oh, fuck, I forgot. No wonder he looks weird. Um, let's turn this awful mode off. Yeah, no, no sh yeah, let's just... Nice, crispy, and clean, please. Thank you. There he is! There's the boy! <laughs> when can I get a sweet laptop like that? Heck yeah. It's weird hearing a WarioWare game with not very good music. Is this the first WarioWare game, by the way, or was there a Game Boy one? Or wasn't it WarioWare Tilt and Tumble? I don't remember. I didn't. My first WarioWare game was actually the Wii one. Or was it the DS one? Hello. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 You've just experienced half the ROM size. This is the first one. All right. You. 2003. Hi, Parker. Hi. You'll get more pets after the stream, okay? Work it. I gotta say, this is nothing. Next to the goddamn intro of WarioWare Smooth Moves, the press start screen, holy shit. It's gotta be the, the, the best press start screen of all times. Didn't the series completely fall off? I mean, Game & Wario is, like, technically not WarioWare. It's more good than bad, but it is weird. The Switch one is okay. It's not great. Um, otherwise, it's mostly just been, like, remakes and, like, not quite WarioWare games. Why are your paws wet? You're gross. He drinks with his feet. Yeah. Mona Pizza. Ah, oh, yes, Italian Village. Zoop. Now that's graphics. Now that's what I call graphics for. Would you not sniff my monitor, please? This aesthetic reminds me of Panic for the Sega CD. Game and Wario was just worse than Nintendo Land. It, it really was! Nintendo Land was not bad, though. Nintendo Land is honestly, like, 
pretty much the one game that really makes good use of the Wii U's awful, terrible idea. Parker, you're gonna knock those models over. Oh, Mario's an indie dev. Those are some small co- is, is Mona- Hang on, let's, let's re-roll that footage. <laughs> How big is Mona? Cause like, god damn. Not, not bad. So, she's like 12 feet tall. Okay, I can, I can deal with that. He's got a little elephant. <laughs> All cops are pachyderms. Oh, there's the pig. Very sympathetic for the cops. I didn't realize she was a fucking scofflaw. <laughs> that seems like an appropriate response. Monkey. Oh, it's an NFT! Guys, someone's to right click. You could be rich. Classic. That cop is dead. Listen, I don't care. Oh my god. I Get this off my screen, please. That's the worst snout I've ever seen. Pick. Gotta start with the classics! Oh, okay. It's always awkward to play these for the first time when you're like, huh? How, how do? Oh, oh. Wish it was that easy. Huh? Oh. Oh, it's Fall Down from Game Bird, not Game Boy. From, uh. Sniff! <laughs> yeah. Oh. Someone got hard to that. Oh. Whoa. Um, fall down from the, um, I thought he was a skeleton. That would have been irony. Um, a TI-83. Huh? Okay. Got him. Aww. Got that time delay. It's gonna be hard to ever top where you wear smooth moves, though. That was incredible. I actually busted that out a month or two ago. What? Oh, I'm the I'm the, I'm the Frank. Boss stage. I love we're just murdering cops. Pound. Same. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, buddy. Oh, come on! <clears throat> for, the, for the purposes of, of time. Smooth Moves Deluxe is the best I could ever do. Yeah, I would be down for that. I think you could do most of the things that Smooth Moves does on Switch with the Joy-Cons. Look out. Killed the last cop. We have successfully murdered about 40 people so we could deliver a pizza or whatever we're doing. Oh no, we're, we're just clocking in. Capitalism has made us done do this. I hate our boss a lot. Yeah, that's. I don't like that. Not to sneeze. False alarm. I hate that. That's worse than sneezing. It's still there. It's like in the background. Oh no. Oh no, it's a creeper. Oh yeah, baby. Mm -mm. Get out of here. Wow, tap guy, you did it. It's got to load. What? What? Ch ch chwari They're beginning a chwartery board? Suck up 100! <laughs> Pardon? What are we sucking up 100 of? Huh? Huh? Oh, oh. L and R. What? Oh, oh, I get it. I see. It's Roomba. We're, we're, we're Roombas. This game invented Roombas. What the hell? 
All right, that's yeah, that's too pretty. Oh, he put me in. Yeah. I hate the dog and cat's name. Which is annoying because like they have some of the better like controls in uh, the Switch game. The Switch game is that kind of like annoying thing where like most of the gameplay. Oh hey, welcome to Let's Play Sam and Max. Uh, most of the gameplay is struggling with the controls, which is like there's some games that can kind of make that work, but it's always kind of like huh. Another day in the city. Yeah. Where are you going? <laughs> Ten four. I have no idea what's happening right now. I gotta say the cuts. <laughs> Once they could do proper cutscenes, the series did improve a little bit in terms of narrative. As if anyone plays WarioWare for the narrative. Too broke for a $60 micro game collection. I mean, Why You Wear Smooth Moves is totally worth even 60 bucks. It's one of the best party games, like, of all time. Oh. I'm fine. I hate when you can press the button too soon, it just, like, completely locks you out of it. Why You Wear Smooth Moves is one of the best party games of all time. And you can play it with people that have just never even looked at a video game before. It's great. Oh, get it together? Yeah. I don't think I play it paid a full 60, but it was it wasn't great. Game and Wario, I like I kind of wanted 100 percent but getting coins is so insufferably disgustingly slow in that that I had to give up. There's even a trick to like just advance your system clock one day ahead and just straight up cheat. And just cheating, you would have to sit there for hours changing the clock. Like, I'm serious. Like, it just, it's that bad. Like, you need, like, hundreds of coins. And, ugh. Ave. Oh, hey, shoutouts to Wordle. This game also invented Wordle. It was that. I, I don't know if I did a good or a bad. I think I just Elon Musk. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You 100% of game in Wario or smooth moves? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Smooth moves, like, was almost really good. Now, what, the thing I never got is why don't they have the WarioWare team make the introduction game? I mean, Nintendo Land, okay, they did just fine. But the Switch, like, 1-2 Switch, they should have had the WarioWare guys make that. I mean, even if it was only as good as Game & Wario, that's a hell of a lot better than 1-2 Switch was. Oh, I guess if you're 9, sure. Yeah, I... I was not willing to 100% that. I wanted to, but like, oh my god. Die. Maybe died. For the purpose of moving things along. Did I not? I thought I got. Oh no, I'm I'm the dudes. Okay. Oh, wait, can I just lose? Can I just lose my child? Oh, hang on. Lucky. Oh, I can't kill my child. Okay. Nintendo Land wasn't bad, but beam. <laughs> Quidado Bowser! Woo! Was this is this Hatsune Miku? What the hell is this music? <laughs> you literally don't have to press it. Oh hey, I'm a I'm a Kirby dude. Oh, hey, it's Action 52. Yeah, that's about how long you should play an Action 52 game. Wait. Oh. It's not Asteroids. It's also... Haha! 
It's also instantly better than any action for the game. You know what's amazing? I just realized Action 52 has like 500 space shooters, and none of them give you power-ups! Like, that's the one thing that like makes those classic shooters like, oh, you can like do a thing. Am I getting it in the hole or like... Yeah. Like, that, that's what makes them more interesting, because like you start with a shitty power and you like get stronger and stuff, but none of them have that, I just realized that. Ugh, what an awful game. We should stream it sometime for a cursed content. We don't do enough cursed content these days, which is probably for the best, but... Blue. Purple. Okay. I understand, yes. I don't think the color matters if you're supposed to hurt it. I gotta say, not, it's not quite as good as the Sonic Forces final fight. As far as micro games go, it's okay. It would be kind of cool if every dev team made two, three mini games. Variety pack. That could be cool. At the beach. Is this a beach or a pier? I can't tell. <laughs> okay. I should. I should have expected that. It's game and war, er, it's, it's WarioWare. I should have expected that. That's completely reasonable. Bye. I think that's an offensive gesture in Mermaid Talk. <laughs> They're doing the reaction guys thing. Man. Uh, mermaid. Yeah! Bye. Man, these blown out pixel phones. Huh? We forgot to collect the fear! I love how it's a completely different vehicle at every angle. Hey, come on. Yeah. <laughs> you got the ice creams. He's licking his hand, not the ice cream. I don't like that. Dribble and Spitz are their names, by the way. I, I, I hate their names. They don't even... Spitz doesn't even get billing! He's not in here at all, what the heck? Wow, chicken... Alright, we'll do, we'll do chicken race real quick. Oh, this is also a two-player, okay. But we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll go 400 inches. You know what I mean. <laughs> oh, oh, you gotta... I think you gotta hold it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You get it. Uh-oh. He's going into outer space. Not bad. Not bad. Alright. Mario and Luigi. Nintendo! Nintendo! The sprites are great, obviously. And as far as Game Boy Advance games go, the music's quite good. But... I guess I, I, I actually played everyone's least favorite game in the series. I played Partners in Time. I didn't dislike it. You know, let's play Mario Bros. real quick. <laughs> Here they are. Isn't that some, like, public domain thing? That's like what half of arcade games music is. At least it wasn't Paper Jam. Oh, is Paper Jam bad? The pa Partners in Time is still the only one I've played. I thought the four button thing worked pretty well. I thought it was pretty cool. I don't remember very much else about the game. I guess it wasn't super remarkable. But it, I don't remember it being, like, terrible. Oh, even this one has the sound effects. We, we're not rid of the infernal voice clips. The weird mix-up of the mashup, rather, of the voice clips and the um, the NES sound effects is so odd. Anyway, that's just Mario Bros. I was never a big fan of almost any arcade games that are not a shoot 'em up. 
perfectly honest. Bean. I gotta say, the bean thing, like... The bean thing really does not do too much for me. Like, haha, yes. What if instead of mushroom bean, like, we get it? Oh. Oh god, oh fuck. This is not skippable, is it? Uh... You know what? <laughs> We're just gonna load my save file then, because... Yeah. <laughs> this will give you a better impression of the game anyway. The tutorial is too long. I wish I wish games like this had like an option of like, have you literally ever played a video game before? Yes? Okay, let's just skip the tutorial, because you'll you'll figure it out. This game takes like an hour to teach you. Press the button left to jump left and press the button right to jump to the right. Now I will ask you seven hundred times which button to press. Like this. There's like a, a ten minute segment where you learn to do this. It's it's two buttons. You press two buttons. <laughs> it's like the the it's the sad part is they were the coolest characters in the game so far, and they're only used for a tutorial that is much too long. Um, this is <laughs> this this is not how you're meant to do this. Hang on. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna cheat. Oh, I made the best possible passport. So I made him cool and tough. Um, how do? I remember seeing Paper Jam, I'm like, okay, no Paper Luigi? Okay, and like, I don't know, nothing seemed too interesting about it. Controls are really clunky. I would definitely agree. The, the, the Switch, like, the, the, why is it start to Switch Bros and not right? I don't know what R does so far. It doesn't seem to do anything, but it seems like it could have been R. Plus, there's a lot. When anytime there's like multiple layers of mode switching, I find it really annoying. Like, um, Super Metroid. Great game, but the controls do not. Oh. Fetish time. <laughs> I wonder how many people got fetishes. R will get a function soon. I wonder how many fetishes people have just specifically because of Mario. There's Vor, obviously. There's inflation. There's, uh, this. Which I guess is a kind of inflation. Am I, is this what I'm supposed to do? I have no idea. Um, what else is there? The butt thing? The, the fi butt on fire thing? Uh, has its own tag on Pixiv. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Um, oh God, I didn't mean to do it this time, I swear. Um, <laughs> just obliterate these people. Uh, I was not paying attention to what am I supposed to do. <laughs> I wish we could stand here together forever. Uh, oh! I don't know why I didn't think about jumping, but okay. Iron Luigi's Bowser's Inside Story is the best one. Huh. Or inflation, rapid weight gain, messing with Luigi's unconscious sleeping face. That That's a new one on me, but I, I do not doubt you. Beware of overhydration. Um, oh yeah, size, general size things, shrinking, growing, um, whatever regular human Mario is in Mario Maker. You know, the regular human proportion Mario? We're overhydration. <laughs> if over-drinking symptoms appear, stomp on the victim's head. Yeah, I'm not a doctor, but I don't know about that. Spitting excess water on objects is strictly prohibited. I'm sure there's more. Drowning, that's definitely a thing. Um, like, just in Mario 64 alone, there's a lot. Dude, the water you be with the kid me down, I think. Alright, we gotta get him some water, probably. I really don't like the double, like, the separate jumps thing. Oh. Oops. But hang on. Oh, God damn it. The, the, the two layers of mode switch really messes with me. I not? Huh? No? I guess it's not that. One of the Dream Team's gimmicks is playing with Luigi's face in sleep. I gotta say, I'm not a big fan of the way this the, this series treats Luigi. Like, and it's in every game too, it's not like a one-off thing. 
I can't do that thing yet? Oh, okay. It's always kind of a weird thing in games when, like, it's a mix of over-tutorialization plus you can just be in an area where you can't do anything yet, and it won't tell you. <laughs> like, you would not think the two would be in the same game. I wish I could just always be, like, one or two button presses away from each, like, thing. Just not supposed to be in this. Hoo-hoo Mountain Trail. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to go to Hoo Hoo Mountain. Which sounds like a like a sex place. It's the home of the Hammerhead Bros. Strange and Mallet. Oh yeah. So we'll just come to town before something breaks. Uh, this way. Cactus to be. go around. Oh, of course it's this way. It's got the fawful. Get back, Prince Peasley. Dead. Hi, Parker. Hi, Parker. We'll be petted soon. It's the last game. Fink rats. You again. You were the pair of fink rats that swooped in with the Bowser that I hate. <laughs> I say to you, who's busy with Peasley, you have been catching me. Peasley sounds like like a nerdy character from like an 80s con like cartoon for specifically for a video game. Cackletta has already begun smearing the butter for next tasty plan over Bean Bean Castle. Okay, never talk again, please. Don't like that. So here is your halting place! Oh god damn it. I have fury! You will not be shattering the stone. I laugh at you to try to cut down this mountain. Great. Well, I thought I knew where to go. Let me guess. The bridge is built now. Hi, Parker. Hello, Wonder Woman. Any time in a video game where there's like seven ways to go, and, like, only one of them actually progresses the plot, and you're meant to go the other seven ways after doing that, I always go everywhere except where you're supposed to go. Oh, so now, oh. They're hammerheads, okay. This is the last stone. Now you show the true spirit of the hammerhead bros. Stone's our last shot. Well, I don't like that. No, sir! I don't like it. Stones. Oh no. Can't make hammers no more. But your heads are hammers. Huh? What do you think you're staring at? <laughs> I, I like how Luigi is like aggressively fake Italian and Mario is just mute. Pestutetodrepatro. <laughs> Dudes. The Jump and Hammer Kings. It's so weird how Mario's, like, hammer is, like... So few games actually have him with the hammer, until Paper Mario, at least. But, like, just because of, I guess, you know, Donkey Kong, he's, he's the hammer guy. I never knew about the quote-unquote hammer thing until makes it sound like a sex hack, but I never knew about the quote-unquote hammer thing until Smash Bros. I was like, why Why is this weird hammer thing, and why is it animated like that? Like, why does it do that? <laughs> I love the, the continuing Mario RPG tradition of jumping to prove that you're Mario. Ooh, blocks. It does sound sexual. I love how, like, Mario jumping, it's like that, um, that office meme of, like, the unattractive guy. Like, hello, HR department. Like, Mario jumps. Like, wow, hello, Mario. And then Luigi jumps. Yeah, a little bit higher, mind you. And they're like, um, hello, cringe department? Can't jump over gaps. Obviously, that would be stupid. Alright, I'm getting hoo-hoo blocks. 
I assume I go up now, finally. Like, like I said, I always... There's always a way that you can't go yet. And it's not really explained, because you're just not meant to go there. I always go that way, and I'm always like, Well, well what, do I, what do I do? You can't do anything here. Listen, Mario, you live here now. I'm not a huge fan of the out of combat controls. Mario, Paper Mario definitely has an advantage in that end. Woo! Hi, Parker. Hi. You. Oh, wrong way. Again? Where do I get the hoo-hoo blocks? I gotta get some blocks to put my hoo-hoo. Alright. Uh, maybe the bridge. Done with that bridge yet. Oh, they finished while we were talking about hoo-hoo blocks. I never liked it. I mean, I guess it's n hashtag non-linear and all, but like... And there's like seven different ways to go, and like you gotta know the exact order in which to go. Mexico! Are you beans? Yeah, you're beans. I gotta say, the bean thing is. It's not really that endearing. Like, we get it, beans. I'm usually all for beans. Like, beans are a funny thing. It's fun to say, but. It's, it's a lot of beans, you know? Also, I have no idea which one's to bonus. To bonus. Bonus is a verb. Um, boost. I boosted power a lot. I think stash is something like really weird. I'll go for it too. It's like selling power plus critical rate. Oh, is stash the best thing to get? Well, I guess if it boosts critical rate, then it should be. Depending on how much it does. It's usually good. I, mean, I can kind of see where they decided, oh, these games, this is too similar to Paper Mario, so we have to remove one of them, but I, it doesn't mean I agree. I, I, I firmly do not agree. Dash and power, everything else is super useless. Alright. What's that one? What's the name of that meme with the black guy dancing and like they edit it so it's like an entire Mario Mario and Luigi battle just out of that one clip of him just going absolutely metal. I'm sure you know the one I, you know, I mean if you've seen it. Like what's that guy's name? Another two, not bad. I know they have very specific build-outs in, um... See, I feel like... I guess in this way you have, like, real choice, but... In Paper Mario, it's like... There's no wrong choices. Oh, okay. I'm still not used to that. I guess it depends on what R is. Maybe R is the hammer. It just feels like that should be R, so far. Watch me go the wrong way. Whirlwind warning. You have faith in your spin. Oh, no. I have no faith in anything. <laughs> what the hell is that? It's a bean skeleton. Dry bones. It's dry beans! That sounds like something that gives you, like, sexual powers. Well, at least we get to check out all the games. I wasn't sure if we could do it. We definitely had to... expedite something. Me and my favorite that I... I think I've said it once myself on accident, but people that say expediate instead of <laughs> expedite, I love that. It sounds like it could be a thing, like, you know, it's, it's making things fast, so it's ex expediate. I love it. Yeah. 
Thank you, Charles Martin. Now you beautiful man. I hate this. What is that? I, I get get that off my screen, please. Got a smoking hot gyroid. How many people do you think have masturbated to that? It's a lot. It's a lot. Oh, oh it doesn't oh. You know what? I'm sorry, Luigi, but we, we have to see fat Luigi. <laughs> Luigi can't handle it. He doesn't have the girth. He doesn't have that stomach power. We killed it! It's dead! I hate it. Get, get it off my screen. I can't wait to get the hammer so we can go hammer, hammer, hammer. Huh? Oh. Let's go. Like I said, even, uh, this is while I'm bitching about Paper Mario, like I even got Origami King. It really wasn't that bad, but it, there's there's no reason they can't make that and regular Paper Mario. And for that matter, there's no reason they couldn't like make real partners in that game. Like it's a weird like fake out partner situation. Like th they could have. Oh. Like, they totally could have done. Oh. I guess just pressing both buttons doesn't quite work as well as I thought it might. Yeah, the, the high jump is, like, terrible. <laughs> like, it should you should just always be jumping higher. It's really dumb. Come on. Like many Game Boy Advance and re even more regular Game Boy games, I feel like... I feel like one to two extra buttons would have significantly improved this game. Like, what they're trying to do should totally be possible in a very simple and intuitive way, but <laughs> there's just not quite enough buttons. Especially not with, like, you know, select or the menu button having to be a thing and all that. And, like, you know what? Save some time. I just want to see. Oh, oh. No. What? What? Ouija? What? Huh? Why is it? I don't know why this isn't working. Oh, you got a high jump. Okay. Oh, it doesn't do anything. I get it because because the high jump makes him jump on his head. But like in my brain, like he should just jump on his head because like that's the only thing that you do when you have water in your mouth. Oh, is that, is that, yeah. <laughs> the stickiness of the mode is weird too. It's like Link to the Past. It's not fully the game's fault, but it that doesn't make it any less frustrating. I'm so glad games have like standardized and more consoles more than games have standardized and like very high amounts of buttons. Well not very high, but like about as many as you could reasonably have. Oh. Oh no. Mario just did that, um, that pufferfish meme. I guess I don't trust pufferfish memes anymore. After that carrot one, like, what the fuck is wrong with people? Switch has four extremely underutilized buttons and lacks analog triggers. Which is kind of weird. I 
I just wish the poor Vita had uh, the Switch's amount of buttons. It's... Just two more buttons, and if possible, clickable triggers, so I guess four buttons. Um, plus, just not having proprietary memory, Jesus Christ. Would have improved the Vita so damn much. I like my Vita a lot. I still play it sometimes, even. But, uh... Trying, I'm over here trying to like mode switch. There we go. I guess as far as like single player co op things, like this is not the most like uncumbersome that I've played. But some games use halves of the touchpad as buttons. Uh, they can, yeah. I mean, if you remote play, yeah, that's an option for like remote play. Um, that's not really a thing for, like, native games. But, like, if they had did that, there would be no need for the touch thing. Like, it's kind of a workaround. Like, a lot of games work fine with it, but, you know, you can never be sure until you try. Or if you just know how many buttons work, I guess. So I'm obviously going to get some kind of dig power. Like, I don't know if it's deep enough to have the clickable sticks. I wouldn't think they need to be that deep. It's not that deep. Bro. Um, but there's totally enough room for like little tiny like switch type like L2 R2, kind of like on the 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 top side of the um, switch thing. Like they could be those size buttons. Like it wouldn't be amazing, but uh, you just make those the least used buttons, and there you go. Going down there seems bad. I just want to get the hammer, and I think then we'll call it a stream. I didn't mean to stream this long, actually. I'm kind of running out of steam. But I'm, we're trying new things this week. I'm trying contacts, which is... I'm getting more used to them. I, I still feel dry, and my sharpness of vision is a little bit weird at, like, monitor length. Which is, like, 95% of what I do while awake is look at monitors, so that's kind of a problem. I assume it'll get better, though. Are you a hoo-hoo stone? Also, my voice is, like, murdering me, so I should probably... Why is that? It's only been three hours. I, I guess I haven't done a stream this long solo while not, like, just watching something. You know, like, in Jackbox, other people are talking sometimes. Um, reaction streams, I'm, like, you know, not always talking. Just gotta pace myself. The, the silly voices aren't helping. I'm sure the sticks can click to design it. Ugh. It's a damn shame, because like the Vita, the PSP, I enjoyed my PSP. I had a PSP and a Vita, I was that spoiled. I really liked them, but the, the design decisions were like, the biggest flaws of both were pretty easily avoidable. Frickin', like the memory stick duo, okay. Okay, asshole, like it's, it, back then, like things weren't totally standard. Like the PS3 had like five different memory card readers, right? Because like compact flash, SD, a couple others, like camera card stuff was fucking weird back then. But with the Vita, it should have been a damn SD card. Ugh. Like you just encrypt it. That's what the DS does. Dare I try the challenge? Yes. Such okay. Ten poo poo spirits. Oh god damn it. Switch, please. Alright. Hey, this is. Oh. Hey, this is just that one mini game from uh, Majora's Mask. This is. Oh. <laughs> oh boo. Alright, alright, alright. Right. Just, just. That one is not possible to get. Ten? But is it ten? How many is it? This is real. This seems really hard. <laughs> this seems 
really hard. Alright, alright, let's back this up. Let's try to get the very first one. Oh, God damn it! I got the wrong brothers! I'm, I'm hooked on the wrong brothers! Okay. <laughs> Don't miss a single one? <laughs> See, I, I don't get Nintendo sometimes. They'll they'll make like a 17-hour tutorial, and then the very next thing after the tutorial is like, all right, we need you to make 18,000 frame perfect inputs in seven seconds. Good luck. <laughs> is there some way to end it early? It's gotta be. Can I just? I must be missing something here. <sighs> you gotta be fucking kidding me. What the hell is this? Nintendo! John Nintendo! You're fired. Okay, so you have to know exactly where they're going to be. You have to know exactly- if you know exactly where they're gonna be, it's not as hard, but like... Good luck, first try, like... Wait, is it random? Wait, I think- did I miss? I think I missed one. Oh my god. Hey, you- you can't miss a single one, what the hell? Whew! Lord. You must defeat me! Uh oh. I don't know if I've healed. Yeah, I have not healed. <laughs> Two. Two HP. Uh, it should be good, right? Gross points. At least healing is still cheap. Playing jump rope with bosses is such a common video game thing, especially final bosses. The Mario and Luigi series is like... That's like half of bosses, I swear. Like, I get it, it's like, wow, 3D. But so many of them. Like, I remember doing it a lot in uh, Partners in Time. I see that we're already getting started with that here. And it was part of the tutorial. You had to get your passport by jumping. I should really be attacking with Mario, not Luigi. Mario has like one more attack stat, and he does like three more damage. I'm not sure if that works. It's probably. I know it's not like one attack, but it's like. It's not a lot. Oh, I thought it was Huhu Boros. Which would have been much funnier. Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, I did it too early, I see. Just being a bro. Ow. Why are you stronger and Luigi is more agile despite stat differences? Oh. Huh. I guess they try to get the personality. This feels like a waste, but whatever. <laughs> the little hat thing. That's adorable. That's the secret hat shape. I 
I guess you should always break the thing, because you don't actually get to damage him on the turn. Too. Waste Luigi's turn to break the thing. Got it. I guess... The, oh. <laughs> I guess I didn't need to use the one-up shroom, but whatever. I hate when characters have uneven health experience, anyway. I usually try to correct it if it's, like, a level out of sync. Maybe those who oh. Huh? Gotta get my hoo-hoo stones. That doesn't look high. What's the thing? Up. This game can't quite decide if it wants to be Paper Mario or Mario uh, Party. seem like a pointful block. And when do I get my... I just want to get my hoo-hoo rocks. I want to get my rocks off, you know? Tell me I get the hoo hoo beans soon, or orbs, or whatever. My voice really is giving up. My material for what to say of this game is also fun. Honestly, sometimes you have more to say. Well, not sometimes, a lot of times. You have more to say about a bad game than a good game. I don't know where that is. I, I assume... Huh? No? Perspective. No? Ah, that's dumb, but whatever. Wait, now what? Oh, high jump, high jump. How do I always miss the high jump things? Just give me the hoo hoo stone. Oh, come oh. Alright. Hoo hoo stones up here, please. Does anyone want a hoo hoo? If hoo hoo stones are not on the screen, I think my voice has decided that it's time to stop streaming. Oh. The controls of all time.
trying not to judge it too harsh because I know people say it's great and all of it. <laughs> that is a big Rex. I've never seen a Rex that big. I've seen some big Rexes. <laughs> For some reason, I was not expecting him to scrunch up like they're supposed to. That's delightful. If this was, like, much more combat than it is platforming, it would be better. Into the tornado thing repeatedly, it moves. Let's see in that air. Oh. 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 I think I'm on the wrong pixel. Summit ahead! The beans! The hoo hoo beans! Wait, now this is. It's slightly askew, so I can't go that way. Alright. There better be hoo hoo beans up here. Oh, goddamn. <laughs> Luigi. <laughs> Luigi, no, you have so much to live for. Probably. I just wanted to hear the go hammer, hammer, hammer. That's all I want right now. There's the hoo hoo stones. I see them in the water there. Give me the hoo hoos. Give me a ripe, juicy hoo hoos. This water is disgusting. That's kind of scary. It's a tear deck. Fools! Okay, I should not do that. My voice being this weird. I do not like the one that he is sitting on. Blablandadon. <laughs> RPGs like super inconsistent boss fight amounts. Oh my, I do not like his teeth. Hoo hoo stone! <laughs> How shockingly convenient. Fine. Team Rocket's blasting off again! Hoopra. Sure, our legs. You know what? <laughs> Fine, I'll all accept that one. Drago. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Disables an attack of his. I like when he squanches down. Or any should be squanchable. So I wasted at least one. I wasted one level up to be thinking the badge points were like the badge points in Paper Mario. But it's a 
Mario game, so I'm sure that that's not a particularly big deal. No! Well, this is bad. I really should have healed. Wait. Why am I not getting the timing for this? Oh. Oh, so he's closer to you, so there's less time. Okay. I see how that works. He's gonna do like a half HP, like extra hard thing. Maybe. Or not! Well, that was easier than the last boss. I did cheat a little bit, but that's fine. Cheaters always win. I like his little. Luigi has like more strength, but yeah. Oh! Ooh, baby! More games should have like the ooh, baby thing that uh, Earthbound has when you get an extra big stat boost. It was a person. It was Prince Beasley! You, why were you a dinosaur? Why were you a dinosaur? A bit of an accident. I'm sure there's a valid reason that you figure out at the end of the game, but stealing her voice. Odd choice. Hi. This is gonna be the one of those things where he's like. He's the real hero, but really, we're just saving his ass like 99% of the time. Right, I'm gonna get my hammers. I'm out! That will be done for the night. Call now, you'll get two hammers! Solo hammer action. Ah, oh, tutorial time. Oh, so R is hammer, yeah, I figured. Oh. Oh, so L selects one action, R selects the other. Oh, okay. Hammer! Alright, this is what I want to do all stream. blue ball you by not smashing the stone, but then we're done. Beat Mario with the hammer. How do? Keeps moving out of the way.
Oh wait, jump him and then... No? I don't understand. L again with Luigi in the back. Oh! <laughs> Actually hurting him. <laughs> Deserved. Correct. I don't suppose. Now more modes to be used with. Alright. That's enough for me. My, my voice is... Ugh, I'm not... That used to stream this long with only me talking. Oh. Thanks for watching. Um, React stream on Friday. Probably the TF2 dubs. Chunk Boy set up a playlist way too long ago. Sorry about that. And we're finally going to watch it this Friday. So, good night. Remember to join the Discord. So, taptap.com slash Discord. The link that should be in the chat. Have a great night. Sorry for the stupid audio issues at the start of the stream, but it happens. It's live.